Good morning, everybody. My name is Cameron, and I already said good morning, but adding on to that, it's a wonderful morning. How are you? I'm doing all right. I actually had breakfast this morning, so I'm doing better than I was before. And to start off this wonderful, wonderful day, this wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, I've got a cup of ginger tea made for me by my dearest. Now, in the past, I would usually make a lot of ginger tea for myself because ginger apparently helps with the gastrointestinal tract. A uh, part of my body that I don't necessarily have full control of. The top part of the gastrointestinal tract. I have full control over the bottom half. Otherwise, well, that's disgusting. Anyway, disgusting but a real problem for some individuals. And if you suffer from that, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for you. Anyway, I'm playing Night in the Woods again today. Odd. Night in the Woods. But it's a beautiful morning. And a pretty deadly night. Anyway, we're back with... Cat lady, or rather, lady who is cat, not cat lady. It's not cat girl, but it's girl who happens to be cat. As in, this is a cat who is a girl. Not like a girl, like human girl, who done be cat. Though she is rather anthropomorphic, but you know what? Why, why should I look too far into it? Cat girl, girl cat. Her name's May. It's fine. How do I connect things again? Look at that. Featuring Lucine Maul, Bandit Queens. Yeah, we're criminals. We stole things and then returned things and then shot a bunch of people at the mall with water. Water. Not with guns. No firearms. We're not those kind of criminals. Though apparently somebody died in this town. We found their arm. Their arm is just off. And so now I guess this is going to be the story of how... I continue to fuck up my life. Hi, Mom! What's up, Mom? How you doing, Mom? Good morning! Did you feel it last night? Feel it? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? No? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> there was a big sinkhole two streets over. Oh, are we still getting those? I don't think those ever really go away. Where are we? Where are we that we get sinkholes so often? Swampy ground and so forth and on a floodplain. Oh, well, that's that's cause for, uh, anyway. Oh, weird. I don't want you over there nosing around it. I guarantee you won't. You, I guarantee you I won't. I have seen sinkholes. I don't want to fall into those. I don't want to fall into the sinks. I don't want to fall into the holes. I don't want to fall into the whole sinks or the holes at the bottom of the sinks, the drain. I don't want that. No interest at all? Mom, they're just holes in the ground. Though, honestly, I could go for a nice hole in the ground right about now. Big one to encompass my entire body so that I could be entirely below the Earth's surface. Get back to me when one, like, swallows a house or something that'd be pretty dope but terrible for the house although there's always the potential to rebuild we'll go to we'll go see together if that happens deal so what did you do last night went to the mall with b oh fort lucine yeah i did i haven't been there in years how is it kind of falling apart and empty yeah, I expect. Everyone just goes to the outlet stores up by the interstate now. For, you know, shoes and things. Well, stop by the church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. And see ya, bots. Get out of here, bots. We don't need you here. And raw heats. 4581. Yeet you off the face of my stream. Bye, sweetie. Oh, did I just... Oh, I clicked the Windows button by accident. There we go. Bye, sweetie. All right, I am sweetie, and I'm going to the store, so let's go get them. Let's go get them. Oh, it's nice and foggy today. Hey, you in the car! I still can't go that way. So not only is that sinkhole off... I really want to just jump on the power lines now, but apparently I may get arrested. I am not a delinquent. I don't, if I'm, I'm going to try to be as non-delinquent like as possible because I don't want to be a delinquent. Although, arguably, I already am a delinquent. 
Potentially. Or rather, I'm like older now. I'm not a delinquent. I'm just an adult who makes bad decisions. Mayborowski. Selmers. Now we all know how important it is to look our best. What? Our appearance is first and sometimes last impression we make. Summers, did you join a cult or something? Lucky for you, I happen to be a licensed dealer. Oh, okay. Of the Sylvan family of products. Summers, I don't have any money. Oh, okay. You even that pitch to everyone? You sold anything? Have you sold anything yet? Sold some to my mom. And to Abby Krangler. Mrs. Krangler's daughter. Granddaughter. I run into her at the laundromat over by the school. One time Greg got locked outside on the, one of the tumble dryers. <laughs> Did he die? He, he wanted me to start it, but I, I chickened out. I wouldn't do it. He definitely would have died. Tell him that. He's still mad. Want to hear a poem? Yes, I want to hear your poems. Sometimes I think and start to sink. Oh, no! There's more. Sorry. Then I remember. It's October. October? I combined my two favorite months, which also happen to be side by side. Fall is really nice. It's the best. My favorite season used to be fall because that's when my birthday is over in the wonderful month of November, but I eventually I realized I don't really like the cold very much. My new favorite season is spring and my next favorite month is probably June. Probably. This is really itchy to me. <laughs> Please excuse my itchy nose. Oh, there we go. Much better. Probably could have solved that less aggressively, but you know what? It's all about energy. It's all about energy. So what am I doing now? Should I go talk to... I should talk to somebody. Maybe I should go talk to my buddy B at the old pickaxe. LB, did you have fun last night? Did you really enjoy our outing? Hmm. Ginger tea. Oh, cool. But that's good. Was it B? Hey, BB. Hey, May. How's it going? Got a load of rock salt, to, rock salt to move. Came in early this year. And like a crap load of snow shovels. Usually the distro place doesn't goof up like this. Maybe it's run by weather wizards. Yeah, it's not a bad theory. So, uh, what's up? Wanna hang out tonight? Uh, I'm working. If you wanna, like, come along... Oh, I was I was thinking we'd go play like putt putt out in Hunwick. May that's actually not a bad idea. But sorry, I got work. Ah, oh, jeez, what's even the point? Paychecks, rent, food, medicine, that kind of thing. So, do you want to come along or not? Got a lot to do. Yeah, let's hang out. Let's do it. I'll hang out with you. House call. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna like old pickaxe someone's house? Is that how old pickaxe conducts business? Couldn't you just like refuse to do house calls? Nope. Why? It's called a job. People pay you to do it. Ideally, at least. You coming? There's a thing back here by the driveway. Yeah, she's an old lady. She's got weird shit in her yard. It's like a windmill. Yep. I've never been back here before. May Barowski. You now you you have now been here. It's nice. Yeah, just a bunch of old cabins. People turned into houses. Some hunting camps. So like don't get like shot or anything. Buck season isn't for a few days, right? Well... Folks get impatient. For murder! It ain't murder if it's animals. That's... Dark. And incredibly ironic because you're all 
animals. Except I'm sure that this is probably just like an analogy. Like we're all just metaphorically the animals that most represent us. Maybe. But apparently that gets passed down through families. So like, I don't know. Hold that thought. You gonna knock? Knock. Knock. Thank you for coming at such short notice. No problem. I can sleep through a four alarm fire without furnace. We'll take a look at it. Ever since Gene passed, I just can't abide that thumping. Understandable. Gene was such a darling man. Hey, what what did you mean by hold that thought? Wait for it. I'll never forgive them for taking him away. Uh huh. Ain't like I didn't treat him right. I I looked it up on the internet. It didn't smell or nothing. Wait for it. You can't take a woman's husband just because he's dead. There it is. Holy God. Took him right off that couch. It's a crime. Yeah, a crime was definitely committed, all right. They just couldn't abide not being able to tax him anymore. That's what it was. Well, I won't talk your ears off about it. Come take a look at my fridge while you're here. We will bill by the hour. Oh, I guess I'm just gonna, just gonna walk around. I wonder if there are any more dead people. Good job. Yeah, that's a nice fridge. What's the problem? Oh, there's no problem. It's just a classic, an original Luna Freeze. I can see because it says Luna Freeze on it. Right. Nope, I don't have my mouse. Never mind. Wow. They were all the rage when I was your age. Did you see that rhyme I did there? I'm older. It's the little things in life that make me smile. They last forever. They make me feel so young. I saw one of these uh, the other night when I got back into town. Oh, really? Where? The dumpster! Upside down under some logs in a creek and a ravine. So, uh, furnace. Oh, yes! Right through here to the basement. Sounds good. Come on, May. Spooky. Basement. Alright, we'll be down there for a bit. Please remember not to lock us in. What? Last time we sent someone, he got locked up in the basement? I assure you that did not happen! Um... He called me. From your basement. Your man did smell a bit like booze when he came by. Huh? Okay. Busted. Or something. Okay, down we go. It was nice meeting you! I don't really know who you are, little person. Truer facts have never been spitten by someone so possum-like. Oh man, I love creepy basements! And why wouldn't you? Look at all this splendor. <laughs> Jeez, she's got a lot of junk. Maybe she's got a few more husbands stacked in the corner. <laughs> Alright, let's get this done so we can go home. But I want to check out what's over here. Like this baseball bat, which I bet I may need to use to break out of the basement once I get locked in. Isn't it illegal to smoke indoors? I knew it was a cigarette. It is. Well, 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 be the criminal. It's a dummy. I'm trying to quit. So I, uh, chew on this thing. What? Notice no smoke coming out. No smoke at all. But, like, I've seen you smoke. Yeah, not indoors. I totally thought it was real. Where did you think the smoke was going? I, I thought you were, like, swallowing it. Because I don't know. May, do you know how smoking works? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not a smoking scientist, Beatrice. Good lord, what else don't you know? Sorry, I didn't get a degree in cigarettology. What even was your major in college? Kicking ass and getting rad. Audible blink. 
So, so that's the furnace? Um, I don't know what I'm aging in. I honestly forget. Too many drugs, you know? Yes, that's the furnace. I've decided his name is Clanky. Okay. You just hang out. I I'm going to go fix this right quick. Don't, like, break anything. What am I going to break? The furnace? This is a basement full of crap. What am I going to do? Break the crap bag? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, shouldn't be long. Can I help? Nope. Why am I here then? Because you wanted to come along. Just chill. I'm not gonna chill. I'm gonna touch this fan. Jeez, this is one old ass fan. It's made of metal. You could chop your finger off. Can I touch the furnace? I bet I could make something out of all this junk. Jeez. Who even would have this much junk? Me. I would have this much junk. A racket! Yeah, I, I can see this being useful. Okay, okay. And then, I can see this being useful in furnace fiction. I see, I see this, I see, I see this fishing rod. That could be useful. Okay, this looks useful. This looks very, very useful. And this, this thing over here, this is useful. I need your expertise to fix this stupid furnace, professor. And then this bat, I'm gonna take, gonna get that bat. Can I not have that bat? Can't have that bat. Am I gonna actually, like, mess up the furnace? Yep, probably. Alright, so... I can't carry anything else. So I'm gonna say this is enough stuff. And I wonder what the hell I'm gonna do. So, okay. I got a gnome. Fishing pole. Badminton racket. And a fan. Got two wheels. And a turny thing. With no wheel. Probably just need to turn the turny thing... To open up the heat pipes, to turn up the fire, to turn to open up the heat. Neither of these seem like good ideas, but I'm gonna open up the heat pipes. Clanky's probably got loads of heat, but it can't get out. To get Clanky all hot and bothered, we'll teach Clanky to love. I bet I could. Uh, uh, hmm. Um, I think Nomi could bike onto the turny wheel thing where the wheel was, or uh, could use the racket as a handle. Racket as a handle? Is that really gonna work? But Nomi, Nomi, oh my dear Nomi, you could truly make a better situation out of this. Nomi, okay, yeah, that's the stuff. Yeah, probably could like uh, pull uh, him around like the, but we're not always gonna be here to pull him. Hmm, I think one good hard pull should be enough. I mean, I don't know if he's gonna be here to pull him, so we gotta connect it to the fan, right? The fan could stay on, and then if this breaks, you only have to replace the fan, right? It should be good for the environment too. That's important. Yes. More electricity. Good for the environment. Like the turbines on the mountain by Fort Lucene will connect the fan outside like wind turbines. And that'll take care of keeping the furnace thing open all the time. God, I remember when everyone was so mad about that. It's gonna ruin the view. It's gonna kill the birds. You know what else is gonna ruin the view and the birds? When a meteor hits the earth because it gets too hot. Because the heat of the earth obviously attracts more meteors because that's how science works. That's what happened to the dinosaurs. They got things way too hot. They were farting all the time, putting all the methane in the air, and then that's what caused the Earth to heat, and then the meteor came by and killed everyone. Okay, so where was I? Anyway, dinosaurs were effing rad. They had dinosaurs in the ocean, too. Really? And I'm glad I wasn't a fish back then because I would get totally fucked on. I'm telling you. Did they have fish? Were they, like, dinosaur fish? <laughs> I mean, they'd have to be dinosaur fish, right? They absolutely have to be. Yeah, I mean, like, back then, they had dinosaur bugs, dinosaur trees, dinosaur poops, dinosaur everything, really. I'd like to see a dinosaur moose. I bet they would have been pretty great, pretty rad, pretty dope. Okay. Focus. Making a turbine. So there isn't a load of wind down here, but, like, could put the fan on Nomi's butt, and that would make it spin and rack it for the other fan fin part tie it all together with that fishing line and bam waggity wiggity woo i'm an engineer i should like i should like start a company this is a genius sustainable garbage turbine okay i'm done Wh what and i did a thing I think I fixed it. Now let's see what we've got here. Yeah, we did. We? 
And what did you do? What did you do? I engineered an elegant long-term solution to this wonderfully short-term problem. And it fell apart. Oh. God damn it. Way to go, May. Please don't fix it anything ever again. Like, don't even have a pet. A anything you have to maintain. Ah, freaking crap. I was totally gonna work. This is so typical. It's just so typically me. I'm gonna go check the edge exit. It looks like it's closed. Oh, never mind. Wait here. It looks like it's open. Damn it! Well, we're locked in. Ah, I knew this was gonna happen. Stupid, stupid bee. See, maybe you can yell for her. We can, like, cut a hole in the floor. We can do that and escape that way. That's great. With what? Maybe she has an old saw down here. And, and we're gonna what? Build a heap of garbage to stand on? And saw a circle in the floor? Like a cartoon? Oh, not with that attitude, we won't. Gotta be a little more positive than that, B. Come on, meet me halfway, girl. Well, this knob is really old and loose. Maybe I can, like, figure this out. I'll look around, too. Yeah, you go look around a whole bunch. I'm gonna get this bad. And I'm gonna use it. Nope. That's not gonna use it. What about inside of this thing? Nope. What about anything else over here? What about the furnace? If I play around with the furnace some more, why is my only option to play with the furnace? No, 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 no. I don't... This house will set on fire. I'm gonna fuck around with the furnace and that'll be bad. Bad news, dude. What if I go up on top of here? Can I like... No? Oh, this is... Doesn't feel good. I am gonna make a horrible, horrible mess here. Hmm. The one thing she could hear is the furnace when it was broken. Broken things need to be broken. No, I don't, I don't like that idea. I really don't like that idea. Please don't give me the only option of being the, no. Hmm, well, it's the one tool I know how to use. A uh, tool for beating ass. No. No, no, this is, this is not, no, 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 I'm not beating up the furnace. I'm gonna break down the door. I will break the door down. No. No, 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 no. I do not want to break the furnace. I'm gonna break the furnace. Okay. All right. I, I don't like, I don't like where this is going. I really don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going. I have to beat up the furnace. I'm sorry, God. Oh, please. No, I don't want to have to do it again. Only, only once. I mean, that was like four times already. Another? I'm gonna blow. I'm gonna blow this place up. All right, we're blowing. We're blowing it sky high, baby. We're blowing the furnace sky high. Hey, hey, B. Have you noticed that I'm beating up the furnace yet? Have you noticed it yet? It's spewing like fire up the top. This does not seem healthy. Okie dokie. Furnace done broke. <laughs> Suck it, you piece of crap furnace. Wow, that is pretty loud. Yeah, geez. Surprised I can't hear that back in town. <laughs> okay, cool. She's coming. Thank God. Huh. Thank me, more like. Uh, hey, Mrs. Miranda, you locked us in. And your furnace feels like it's gonna explode. No. Okay, that didn't end as catastrophically as I thought it would. That's, that's wonderful. Well, that was fun. Not catastrophic at all. That's great. Yeah. You all right? She gave us lemonade. Lemonade. It's like the ambrosia that flows through my veins. Speaking of lemonade, it's time for today's not sponsor, 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 sponsor. Minute Maid Fruit Punch. It's tasty and red. And uh, it's been sitting in my fridge for a couple days. It smells great. I'll drink that later. She gave us lemonade though. Yeah. Yeah, well, like, you know, like, 
Did I meditate or something? You know what? It's such a nice night out tonight. Look at the moon. The moon is so full. Isn't it lovely? Yeah, it's lovely. I know it's lovely. So, like, what's what's got you down? Hmm? Nothing. Just, just, like, tired. Worked all day. I'm all hyper. Good for you. <laughs> you are zero fun. Yup. You need, like, some magical shit. Like cocaine. To, like, give you a new perspective. Like cocaine. But, like, fake cocaine. Because you can't do cocaine indoors. Because that's illegal. Uh, let me know when that happens. You wouldn't want to miss it. Sigh. Okay, well, I'm going to... Can I go back inside and yell at old crotchy lady? Nope, can't yell at old crotchy lady. So what can I do? Can I climb this tree? Oh, this is such lovely ambiance. I love it. Look, I got fireflies. Yo, B, take a look at these fireflies I have. Look at these fireflies I got. Look at these fireflies. Okay, all right. Yo, what if I bring all the fireflies to the light? Because I noticed they all congregate over there. Oh shit, dog, windmill. Can I climb this? I, I can. Oh, I can climb this. I can really climb this. And potentially hurt myself all the way at the top. This is the pinnacle of my existence. I'm on top of the windmill. May, look at me. Can I jump on this tree? I can apparently hurt myself. Can I do something from here? Uh, remember, torque, physics, physics, get it rolling. Yep. No, can I? No. Can I? Can I? This is wrong. I have more fireflies. Oh, these fireflies! I'm gonna jump off. It's okay. Cats always land on the feet. I'll bring you these fireflies. Do you like fireflies, B? I got fireflies for you. Now there's so many fireflies. Wow. <laughs> Are you like firefly whisperer or something? You're damn right I am. They just, they just like me, I guess. I'm humble. I'm humble. Humble about it. Yeah. That's... You're an interesting person, May Barofsky. No, Mrs. Miranda is an interesting person. She, like, mummified a dude. That's interesting. Okay, you're a more benign interesting. Woohoo! Nice! I'm a benign interesting. You know, I have to say, this would have been much less... It would have been a much less exciting evening if you weren't along for the ride. Along for the ride, Missy. <laughs> I helped out. I believe I worked pretty hard down there, and I think that deserves some recognition. I should get a cut of the bill. I think you should pay me. <laughs> Not a chance. You're an unpaid intern. Fight you for it right here, right now. We'll tussle. Fisticuffs. You should, like, channel that aggression you always have into something useful. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Hanks said way back, I need to repress it. Re repress? Not like, learn to deal with it? He specifically said repress. Well, that's just unhealthy. Uh, hmm. Okay. Hmm. Well, um... Hmm. So do you think Mrs. Miranda's, like, pulled her husband's guts out? Well, somebody's calling me. I wonder who it is. I'm gonna screen the call and see if I actually need to answer the phone. Do you think she pulled her husband's guts out? Isn't that what you do for mummies? I don't know, May. I'm not so sure. Do you think you'd have the stomach for it? Hmm. Have the stomach for it? I don't think so. Nope. It probably took a lot of heart. E yeah. I wish you would explain it to us. I get it, May. She really wrecked him. Okay, that probably stayed in place. Yeah, that should stay where it belongs. I'm leaving. Hey, you gotta liver your life. Bye. D this is this is me. I'm gone. I'm gone now. I'm out of here. Hey, wait up! You're walking back to town. You've got a lot of gall to say that. I'm calling the cops. 
Nice. The call was apparently nothing. I got something in my book. Gur angry furnace. But they make the mummy. Mummy, 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 mom. How's work, dad? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined. I've ran machines. But now I get to slice steaks and hawk salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. Fair point. Paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. Indeed. Mommy? No, mommy. I'm going upstairs then. Bye, Dad. Good night, Dad. Or can I continue to talk to you? Is there more that I could talk to you about, Dad? Tell me more about your salamis. What'd you do tonight? Oh, you know, stuff. Did stuff. I'm tired. Feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places you can get paid for work these days. Oh, really? <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, they call it working. Huh. You kids with your slang. Slang? You could pick up at work. Okay, yes. Uh, Point made. Point made. Gotcha. Um, what about those boxes I asked about in the crawl space? Hmm. Well, I'm thinking about it. Watch some TV with me. Yeah, for a little bit. Perfect timing. Garbo and Malloy is starting. Ah, uh, yes! Garbo and Malloy. Ba -da 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 -da. Garbo and Malloy. Ah, uh, yes! You know, we like to get political here. Gotta do it! Gotta. You hear about this new law on books. Pirating a moving online, you know that? I do. Punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Wow, and here I've been trying to get in the hard way. He has, folks. He really has been. Wonder if pirating a movie about deg first degree murder. Wonder if pirating a movie about first degree murder earns you more prison respect than one about grand larceny. Hey, Malloy, you know what I think about that, about that law? What, Garbo? That's a Wappa! <laughs> ha. It's not really a Wappa. It's quite unfortunate. Coming up next, stupid sandwiches. That was pretty stupid. You watch this crap, Dad? Well, at least you enjoy it. And honestly, better to, better to watch something that you enjoy than something you don't. And I guess if you enjoy it, then that's totally okay. Have you moved the boxes yet? No. Yo, move those boxes. In the crawl space. Because I want to go upstairs. Hey, whoa. Didn't want to go downstairs. There we go. I'm going to go up, up, up. It's time to sleep. Unless there's anything on my computer Dora. What's on my computer Dora? What do we got? Anybody messaging me? Ooh. Hoo -hoo -hoo. What's up, Greg? Greg? Hey, punk. What are you doing tonight? Got trapped in a basement. Beat up a furnace. Right on, man. Night, night. Such a small conversation. I love it. Hey, that was fun. Let's do that again sometime. You are pretty handy when it comes to breaking stuff. I'm sure there's a job in there somewhere. Yeah, it's called demolition. You can actually get a job doing that. Holy shit, I found my calling. I'm glad I could help facilitate this. Oh, so I looked up people who attract insects. Uh, seems to come down to a lot of heat and various odors. They can't get enough of this. I guess not. Good night, May. Night. Night, everybody. I'd like to ping everybody before bed to make sure everybody knows that they should have a good night. Good night to everybody who's going to bed. Bedtime? Yes. It's bedtime. It's bedtime. It's fucking bedtime. Something about an army of demons all crying through the night because it's bedtime. It's bedtime. Time for another spooky-ass dream. Remember when everything fell down and it was all horrible and terrible and... Yeah, well, now it's the aftermath. But I can jump like I'm on the moon. It's a spe... Oh, was I able to... Oh, well, that's interesting. Oh, I was inside of a building! I'm now outside the building. So I guess I'm gonna have to start up, a, start up the band again, right? 
I'm gonna start this band up. There were band members before. And there's also lights. Who's over here? Wow, that was a pretty long jump. Anything, anybody, anybody? Hey, you! Start the band up playing. You, grab the accordion. And we'll play a little ditty. I call this one Wandering in Abstractness. That one was called Wandering in Abstractness. Thank you for listening. More lights, more lamps. What have you got? The violin. This is enjoyable. This is a nice enjoyable dream so far. Nothing, uh, nothing's falling apart. It's uh, still incredibly cryptic, but it doesn't seem like things are bad so far. I like the aesthetic. Love the nice cool blues. Like the uh, the nice contrast of the pink of my eyes, my irises. That's very good. The uh, illuminated yellow coming in from the windows and the lamps that are turned on. It's uh, it's really quite beautiful, I think. That's another one with the big old tuba. Now we've got the big tuba part. But now, where's the other guy? I feel perhaps he's all the way up at the top. I may have missed him. I did not go to the left direction. So we'll go up there and try to find the last individual in our band. Our super awesome band. Maybe the band's name is uh, Empty Abstractness. Or just Abstract Emptiness. Empty, Empty, Abstract. Does that help me? It doesn't help me like that. Nope, I'm just falling. I'm still falling. Oh dear. Okay, maybe I need to go down here. Did I find a player down here? Anybody want to play their instruments for me? Mm, I've already been here. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, you. I see a little place down there. Yes. Down, down, down. Oh, we can light it up down here, too. Down by the river. Ah, it's the river. Can I jump to the river? I can... Ah, uh, it's an icy river. I can walk across the river. I shouldn't be afraid of the water just because I'm a cat. And, uh, and are you gonna... Yeah! Saxophone with that jazz. We got a little vibe check going on here. This is how I like to enjoy my dreams. If my dreams were this filled with bits of music and stuff, I feel like I'd be a very happy camper. So I was over here. Oh, I need to get back up on top. I remember I need to go back to the little totems with the light and stuff. I figured that out the first time. It took me a little bit, but I got it. Honestly, this music is a little more funky than the stuff that I would experience in my dreams. I wish that I could experience this much funky, ragtimey jazzness. But no, not me. I'm not so lucky. My dreams are either... My dreams are kind of weird, right? Or maybe they're weird just like everybody else's. So they're equally as weird. They're totally normal. I either have dreams where I recognize absolutely everybody in the dream, or I have dreams where I recognize absolutely nobody. And sometimes they're vaguely related to what happened during the day or what I was thinking about before bed. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes it's just completely random. Like laying in a field of volcanoes that are about to erupt and me feeling like my family is being threatened. <gasps> Giant squirrel! What are you gonna do about it? This dream's pretty... Okay, this is kind of up my alley more in my terms of the dreams that I know. Okay, are you screaming? You're screaming and exploding. All right. And... And now? And now what? I wake up from my dream. Guitar strum. Lovely. And now you wake up. And waking up is good. How do you feel? How do you feel now that you've woken up? Would you like to take a shower now? You still haven't showered at all. Like, ever. Anybody message me in the morning? People do message me in the morning. Look at that. Hey, Boyle. <laughs> at work all day? Very bored. Work sucks. Crap Falcon more like it. Yeah, I, I understand that. Hey. Uh, got a call from Mrs. Miranda. 
Uh, apparently, she's upset with that we messed up her basement. <laughs> Whatever. She didn't pay us to clean it up. I'm at work all day. Just saying, if you want to say hello. Uh, I'm here to be hello at. Aww. You, you, uh, you just want attention. You don't want my heart. You're just making sure I'm never getting over you. Interesting how I can't talk to my parents again. Or the, the photo of my parents. Are oh, the boxes moved? Oh, no. Perhaps I unlock something secret and exciting when the boxes are moved. Like a new area. Hey, Mom. Oh, you don't look very happy. Y you okay? Or are you just reading? Morning. Long night. Yeah. I went to work with B. Oh, are you gonna work there? No, Mom. I was just tagging along. Though, although I was, like, really useful. Mm-hmm. It was a new and exciting feeling. Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah, just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. I'm an adult. Though everyone keeps calling me a child. But you know what? I'm cool with that. Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna skedaddle. Uh, mm -hmm. Have a nice day, Mom. Can I talk to you again? I feel like there's more talking to be had. Numbers, 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 numbers. Aww. Adult things sh shouldn't be so sad. What if taxes were easy? Like with TurboTax. At least that's what they tell me. I want to break this. Break this mailbox. I'm just a kid. Adult. Oh, slow. Right, right. Can't go that direction. I suppose a lot of this game is just chilling out. Just going through and just talking with your friends. Trying to reconnect with the friends from back home while finding out new subtle things about the town. This is lovely. What's up, Selmers? Totally. What's up, Selmers? You know what's good? Off the top of my head? Uh, not bleeding your seat in junior high, not falling in a trash can and puking on yourself, not seriously injuring someone during first kiss at senior prom. Injuring someone during first kiss. Yeah, that one. Um, I was gonna say those fruit snack thingies. We used to eat them in grade school. Oh, right. Yeah, those are really, really good. I'm telling you, fruit snacks remain to be a source of excitement in my life. Truly. Did that other thing happen to you? Nope. Want to hear a new poem? Yes, I love to hear your poems. Sometimes I like fruit snacks out by the train tracks. Decent. A juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. Jeez, those are like all I want to know. This is all I want now. Y you made them sound so real. I can taste the atomic dino snacks and the blue clear squeezer. Thanks. You're welcome, Selmer. What a dude. Our local poets. What about you, dude? You gonna shoot me now that I'm on your porch? You're gonna make my dog anxious and she poops a lot when she's anxious. Okay. Acknowledged, sir. I don't want to make your dog poop. Hey, you, you seem... Oh, you just stand there? What if I stand on top of here? Will you talk to me, fine lady? Speak to me, young one. Or not, whatever. I guess you're the mother of the three children, I guess, but I can't seem to talk to you, so... Whatever. Or maybe you're not. I just don't know. Down center platform. Are there any more jobs out of here? Any more things to play around with? Like a yarn ball? Just yarn ball. Missing Casey Hartley. Nothing new. Nothing new. I don't see anything new over here. <laughs> yarn. Yarn playing. Yarn playing with the yarn, aren't you? I should, get, I should go up to the church, you know? I should go get my daily dose of God today. My daily dose of the Jesus. Or whatever their deity is in this church. I'm not sure exactly what denomination they are. What a priest at? Maybe priest still out in the forest. Can I hang in your window? Nope. Oh, that spooked me. 
I thought that door was scary. Could go over there. Hi, Mom. Let's continue to talk about adult stuff. Hey, Mom. Can't talk today. Lots to do. You're reading a book. Really? What could possibly be going on? Well, sweetie, we have the town council here today. And after that, a 12-step program meeting in the basement. Oh, wow. And I'm doing both, doing both church budget and our budget. At the same time. I'll leave you alone, then. Thanks, hon. But what if I don't want to leave you alone? I like my mom. Honey, I really do need to concentrate. But mom! Okay. Go over here. Anybody, 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 anywhere? Can't go into the library still, but I can go into the, um... The big doors. Atrium? Probably the atrium. Yo, what is up with this step? What's up with that step? I can't walk past the step. I have to go up on the step. That's like those steps that are mildly, like... I, I felt them in the world. I've tripped over them. There should be a sign that says, Caution, watch your step. But there is none. Hi, everybody. Wow, you all seem very angry. You were the people who were complaining before. He's very nice. Yeah, and he can be like the first. A trial run. Where would you put him? Oh, in the basement. Or, or in the old library. With all the books. He's not going to eat them. Interesting proposal, Kate. Yes, thanks for bringing this to us. I look forward to moving forward on together on this. It will be brought up at the town council meeting. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, troops, move out. Y'all talking about killing somebody? Y'all thinking about killing a guy? Y'all want to kill somebody? Hello. Hello. You're Candy's daughter, right? My mom's name is Candy. Nice. Yep, who are you? Kate, but most people call me Pastor K. Oh, you're the pastor. I completely forgot. You're new here, right? 16 months, something like that. Oh, uh, new to me at least. I just got back in town. Well, hello there. Hello. Hello. Do me a favor. Take that last hello and give it to Bruce. Bruce? Bruce lives across the street. In the woods. For now, at least. You want me to talk to a strange man in the woods? Bruce isn't strange. He's my friend. And he's a part of this community. Homeless people are not not a part of the community. They're still a part of our community. Okily dokily. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. You too. I want to go on top of here. Pastor K. With the glasses. That kind of just look like a turn to the side B. Or maybe it's a D. Or perhaps it's a P. They all kind of look the same anyway. If you kind of turn your head <laughs> a little bit. And that's all it takes. Jump in on your car. Gonna go talk to Bruce. Bruce is in the town, people. Uh, the, the town, people. Bruce is in the town, people. Pastor K.W. Young. Sunday services, 7 and 9 a.m. All are welcome. E. Bingo, 7 p.m. Tuesday. Transform. Transform. Youth Ministry, 7.30 on Friday. I don't even know what day of the week it is. Oh, Brucey. Brucey, boy. You're not weird. Bruce? Bruce? Are you, like, bathing or something? I don't know where you are. Bruce, did you fall down the... Did, did you fall down the... Oh! Esteban, hello there! Thank you so much! Oh my god! Putting on the rainbow hat. Because it's nice and shiny, and I got this new hat the other day. And I love it. It is very shiny, and it's very metallic, and I've been looking for an excuse to wear it. Oh my goodness, I love y'all. Rainbow hat? Rainbow hat. I mean, it's also Pride Month, so why not wear it, right? So, Bruce, why are you standing near the cliff, my friend? Hello, I'm Mae Borowski. Um, you friend of Pastor Kate? Hey, I'm Bruce. Uh, I don't say much. That's fine, you don't have to say much. It's, it's okay. I talk a lot. I can talk a lot for you. You and me both, May. Hmm. Smoking my cigarette. But I can, like, like, I can, like, night not talk if that's, like, more your thing. See the fire through the trees last night. Past these woods here. Weird noises. 
I just kept it myself. <laughs> and and they went away. That alert scared you. It scared me too, honestly. It really spooked me. <laughs> it always does. That sounds spooky. And is it possible that that fire in the woods came from like a log cabin? Because like I definitely beat up a furnace last night. And yeah, yeah, right, right over there, past the water tower. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a that's a place where teens hang out. Let's hope that all that's all it was. Maybe that's where the party was happening in the woods. In my experience, strange fire, strange voices, it never been good. I wonder if they'll be back. I hope not. I hope not either. Can I jump off this cliff? Nope, it will not let me. Bruce, wow, you are very raggedy. Honestly, my artist's rendition of you makes you seem a whole lot more freaky than you actually appear. It just goes to show you, I think it's a metaphor for our perspectives on people and how we shouldn't look too far into the cover that people give to us. But then, take the chance to open up the book. Read the pages a little bit. Or skip a couple chapters. Or just don't touch the book. Maybe just leave it there. Leave the book in the library, you know? Or just leave it in that tiny little library that you've got, that, you're, that your neighbor has opened up. And you can, like, trade out books and whatnot. But you know that there are people who take the books out without actually trading their books in. And that's not really a sustainable system there. But you're going to let it let those lie anyway. But maybe sometimes you flip through those books and put them back. Kind of like the library thing before. Anyway. I got one of those down the street. I've got pretty much everything in a two-block radius. And one of the things in my two-block radius is one of those, like, tiny little, like, library things. And I definitely just saw a raccoon move behind that building. A raccoon. Would you like to come back, raccoon? All right, fine. No raccoon then. Oh, there you, there, oh, there you are. There's the raccoon. Are you gonna wait? Okay, wait. If I wait for that raccoon, there he is. Are you gonna get? Ooh, I thought maybe he was gonna play with the with the trash can. If I jump at the trash can, raccoon, will you come here? I'm gonna follow you, raccoon. I'm gonna wait. There we go. Watching the raccoon. This may be plot relevant. Go get him, raccoon. Yes. Walk a little long. Walk along there. Walk along. This just in. The raccoon was not plot relevant after all. However, you know what is plot relevant? Friendship. Friendship is relevant. So let's go talk to Angus. Angus, my boy. I haven't talked to you yet. Hey, May. Hey, Angus. How's video land? Good, good. Uh, start of the Halloween rush. Got a pretty good horror section. Nice! You got a favorite? What? Horror movie? Yeah. Scythe Sabbath or Black Oaks? Hmm. I like the alliteration in this one. Just because they start with S's, not because... Well, I mean, it, it kind of works, yeah. Ooh, Italian. Yeah, they don't mess around. The Italians don't mess around with their horror movies. Do we? Pretty colors. Pretty everything. Well, see you later. Bye. Do, do I really? Oh, I don't want to hang out with you, Angus. And I want to check out the naughty video section of the past. In the bath. Back of the... Words, the back of the store. You told me about the, uh, the not naughty video section back there. I want to be a part of it. Possibilities is closed. What's up, kitty cat? Bigger cat? You're, we're, we're both cats. Why am I? I shouldn't be patronizing you like this. And then other cat. Smaller cat. Hey, CJ. <gasps> CJ. Yeah? You were like in high school when I was in middle school. Oh, <laughs> Did I know you? Oh, wait, you're not a cat. You're definitely a weasel. You're probably a weasel. Or, 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 yeah. Yeah, totally. You used to play nerd games with Tom Branwell across the street from my house. <laughs> yeah, nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? Nah, just back visiting. <laughs> For nerd games? They were like pen and paper role-playing stuff. Cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. Husband's driving down tomorrow. What do you do now? I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. Oh, wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in professional capacity. But, yeah, sure. 
<laughs> just realized that they're all small cats. There's big... Yes. When I played this game the other day, I'm just like, okay, there are big animals and there are small animals. Which makes me wonder, does every character believe... Like, I know that we see them as animals and whatnot, but do the characters see themselves as animals? Perhaps the animals just represent certain qualities about the character and whatnot. But then again, also, my entire family in this game is all a bunch of cats. So sometimes, the catness gets passed down to the other family members, but there's this also other family that has, like, triplets, and I'm pretty sure they're all different animals, so I think I'm more to the metaphorical aspect of that. But let's say for a moment that they're not metaphorical. We are all actually animals, and there are all actually other small animals animals in this universe in which case there is a really odd caste system here that extends to like the genetic level like i wonder if there's just like there is a sentient subspecies of all different animals that just kind of evolved and then they domesticated like the lesser beings and now they're just smaller now like why would i think about this uh, but anyway cj can you tell me what the best way to get out of jail is well, it depends on the situation, you see. Like, like what you dig through a wall, or like, attack a guard and take their pants and their identity, or maybe just their identity and their shirt, or maybe even just their socks. You can tell a lot about somebody about their socks. Or like, I don't know, just cause a riot or something? Um, what's the best prison gang? I need to know. Like, if you had to pick the best prison gang, you know, we don't really learn this kind of stuff in law school. What's the point of, like, going to college if you don't learn useful shit? Or useful, useless shit? Laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ. Come on, dude. Anyway, sorry, and uh, welcome back. Have a nice visit, and um, goodbye. Uh, yeah, see ya. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Weasel. What about you guys? I love you guys. You guys are always so excited, excited about the sports. Sunny again! Thank goodness! Hmm. What's got you down, buddy? That's nothing! Hey, um, yeah, go smelters, right? <laughs> yeah! Go smelters! Go smelters. Go smelters. I'll go talk to my buddy Greg. Greg. How's it going, Greg? Oh, you don't have... Smoothie cups on top of your ears this time. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. Anyway, buddy. Hey, 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 hey! Hi. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Whoa, okay. Cool it, dude. What's up with you? Chill, bro. I wanna do something! Okay, wow. Also really intense. You drink all the coffee today? I can't have coffee. It makes me anxious. Wow, that really sucks. And it tastes gross. Not if it's mostly milk and sugar. You know, because I'm a cat. Cats like milk. Or am I just, like, profiling my character? Like... Seems like a lot of the hassle. To make something gross taste okay. I'll just drink smoothies instead. Good point. So, dude, 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 dude. Dude, 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 you want to do something? Something, 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 something. You know what? Yes, let's, let's do it. You know what? Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Greg seems like the kind of person who would try to scream, yeah, boy, for minutes at a time. And maybe he will. Did we go and ride? Yo. Dude, we're so hip. This this little thing's called wounds, so I'm guessing we like go over like a rock or something, and I get incredibly hurt. Maybe break break Greg's ankle or something. Somebody's gonna get broke. Somebody's gonna done get broken, and that's okay. So like, am I just riding? Can I can I do something about this? Oh, is this it? Hmm, all right, I guess I guess I just enjoy this. Um. Yeah, this is lovely. I always like, I like this feeling, right? This reminds me of the feeling of running. My body doesn't like to be in pain. So when I'm in pain, I get rather angry. But that state of angriness is well substantiated because my body's in pain. 
but I want to work out, right? So I like to go out and I go like to go running, and my body is in pain, that makes me angry, but I like the feeling of the wind in my hair as I'm running, depending on how much hair I have. Do I have to click a button or something? Oh no, that was in. Oh, lovely. That was so lovely. Anyway, the wind through my hair. Oh, we went to the woods. Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. That's for sure a big part of the game, which is just appreciate the music and the graphics. Yeah, I, I like that. Then one of the reasons I started playing this game to begin with was the fact that I heard the music of it on Spotify, or at least parts of it. And I was like, you know what? I'm buying that game because I like the music. And honestly, there's a good portion of the games I play that are just that, honestly. <laughs> yeah. German me put it together. This thing. So, uh, it's a motorcycle now. No, it's like a motorized bike thing. It's totally different. Why don't you just get a dirt bike again? I'm an adult now! If I ride a bike... So, like... Uh, I ride a bike. I ride a bike. So, like, where are we? The woods! All right. I like the woods. I accept your premise, Greg. Let's go let's see what's up in the woods. Are we gonna break this tree branch? Doom, 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 doom. Log bridge to Valhalla! Cross and die, mortal! This log is gonna snap and we're gonna break our legs. And have to crawl back into town. Wounds. Or die of like bears and cold. Remember when we used to knife fight? <laughs> yeah. We go home with all like cuts all over our hands. So dumb. Well, I. What? I, I, I got knives right now. Just saying. Holy shit. Yeah, you're on. First to wuss out three times loses. Yeah, let's knife fight. That's a really good idea. Come get cut, Gregor. Come and get cut. Say goodbye to your fingers. Stab me once. Shame on you. Stab me thrice. Shame on... Yice. Okay, 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 okay. First one, it was out three times. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Stop stalling. On guard! Get stabbed. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, whoa, 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 hey, whoa. Oh, I see. No, I gotta... No, stop. Oh, okay. Okay, I gotcha. Mm, boy! Oh, my God! Ha 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 Laugh now! Laugh now! Won't be laughing when I gut you! Oh no! My poor guts! Try not to stab a tree instead of me. Okay, 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 okay! Ready? Ready, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Cool, cool, cool! Go, 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 go! Oh my god! Hey, hey, hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Yo, bro, 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 bro! Knife fight! I don't, I don't, uh, I don't like knife- OW! Knife fight? This is such a good idea. This is, like, definitely the most... Oh, my God. Oh, gee. Whoa. I don't want to get stabbed. Okay, I have five wounds. Ah! My hand! You okay? No pity, Greg. No pity. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, ready, ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this seems so deadly. Okay, I got you. Ow! Jeez. How many do I have? I, I can't count right now. Okay. No, you're going up. Okay, okay. Come on down. There we go. Oh, oh ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Jeez, you okay, dude? No. I am not okay. We can stop. No. Again. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Ready? Ready, ready, ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Go, 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 go. Ow! It's gonna stab me, right? No, stop! Ow! Ow! I will not lose! I will not lose the Groreg! I will not lose! I gotcha again! I will not lose! Okay! I... I might be done. That really hurt. Really? No! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> One last time! Prepare to die. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, ready, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Cool, cool, cool! Cool, cool! Oh my god. Oh. I feel like I'm gonna hurt somebody. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. I just need to stab you one more time. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Alright, I'm actually done. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> Do you need me to, like, call your mommy? Yeah. 
Don't tell her that a precious boy got stabbed in the woods. This was always how it was going to end for one of us. Okay, well, that's probably enough stabbing for the day. All this blood going to attract predators. Good point. Well, that was a fun and healthy activity for adults, obviously. Oh, look, no blood on my hands? They must have been like very, very small knives. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Why did you have two knives? <laughs> Good question. Let's break this log! With the knives? No! With our bodies! This is probably gonna kill us. Nah, dude! Good point. Bounce, 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 bounce. Bouncing on the log. Bouncing, 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 bouncing on the log. We're gonna get ourselves hurt. Ow, my broke my back. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. I was thinking, yeah, like, if you see a rotting tree, or a log, or something in the woods, or like there's ice, and a big rock, like you have to kick the tree over, or break the ice. Like, I can't not do that. Yeah. Hmm. I feel that. I totally feel that. If something looks like it should be broken, like, you should break it. Like, if I see, like, a uh, like a tin can on the ground, like, I'm gonna step on it. I'm gonna try to, like, smush it down. Or, and then, potentially, depending on if I'm in a good Samaritan mood that day, to pick it up and take it to the local receptacle. The proper receptacle. It all depends on how I'm feeling. The, like, feel of... It's different now! Because I was here! Yeah, okay, yeah. That makes sense. These woods will never be the same, man. I changed them. We changed them. Butterfly effect. Dude, someone's gonna die or get born because we broke that log. Crap, man. Yeah. What? Are we gonna break more shit? Where'd you go? Uh, oh. Are we going deep into the woods? Are we gonna spend, uh, Night in the woods. You have a crossbow to- Oh, it's a slingshot. What in the- Shoop! I was gonna say. I'm still- I'm surprised you still have that. Yeah, well. Hunting wasn't my thing. But I mean, dude. Like, what isn't fun about this thing? Did you ever go? Nah, my dad wasn't into it. Granddad was, but he didn't definitely saw it was a it as a guy thing. Hmm. That was fine, I guess. It's pretty annoyed by that at the time. Yeah, I'd be pretty annoyed. Really? Think you would have liked it? Probably, actually. Is that I is that like an actual No, that's not. That looks like a statue. I think it's probably a statue. That's not an actual creature. Like, just buck hunting or something. Season starts day after tomorrow. Yeah. Well, anyway, I would have liked to have been asked, at least. You want to shoot this guy? So, like, what's going on there? The forest god. Like in the story? Yeah. Looks like you just stuck a bunch of targets and decoys together. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what it looks like. You work. Bang, bang. With what you got. You want to shoot it, dude? Um, yes. Of course I do. You should go stand in front and I'll, like, shoot over your head. Nice. Dude. Okay, okay, fine. Give me it. <laughs> like, <laughs> you want to stab each other with knives and stuff, but you wouldn't go in front? Possum crossing. This is heavier than I expected. Can I, like... Can I, like, kind of? I don't think I can really aim it. Right? So make sure you pull back before you release the trigger. Then I just shoot wherever? Not at me. All right. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna get him right in the... I'm gonna get a bird. I'm gonna get a bird. Uh, shoot button? Shoot button? Nope, I don't want to save and quit. Uh, do I trigger? What button do I click for this? A button? No. X button? Oh, you just have to hold the trigger down for long enough first. Oh. 
Oh, so I just hold it down, huh? Oh. Which which one's the trigger? Trigger like. Oh. Well, that shot sure went far. Quantity over quality. I don't. Did I do it? Is it the A button or is it the the X button? Oh, okay, it's the X button. Got it. Ha! <laughs> Bam. Nice. I want to get this bird. I'm gonna kill a bird. I'm gonna kill this bird. I'm gonna get the bird. I'm a terrible, terrible person. Okay, it went far. It went far. There it goes. I'm gonna get that bird in the back. Am I like expert, expert, expert? Almost there. Almost got him. Oh, almost. Oh my god. Oh, almost got it. Dude. Yeah, I almost got him. Maybe I'll hit the sign then. Just shooting things around. Wham! You hit that sign pretty good. Sure did. I'm gonna hit this tree now. Whack! Wow, you sure murdered that tree. That tree had it coming. Anything? Could I shoot the force god in the eye, maybe? Maybe shoot this can of petroleum. Nice tree. Okay, there's my natural enemy. Trees. And cans. Cans? Cans. Cans. Got it. Barreled? It's a barrel. Well, excuse me. I'm out of bolts. It's cool. That was fun. I can take on, like, vampires now. You could. You could. Vampires of Possum Springs. They're out there. Shiny teeth. Shiny as the night. You know, vampires. Shiny as vampires be. Okay, enough shooting for one day. Are you collecting your bolts? Or are we just going to go deeper into the woods? <laughs> Can I bounce on top of this thing? I don't think there's a point in it. Moving along forward to the woods. Oh, a lake. Look at that. So... What the hell was that? Yeah, it's been happening lately. What has? Electrical stuff. Hmm. So, I don't want to be nosy, but... You little see, you seem a little up and down today. Yeah. It's a thing. I mean, it's it's been a thing in general lately, but... Tell me more. I'm... I'm a good person, right? Define good. I don't know. What's up, man? I try really hard. Angus, like, needs me. He needs a Greg. Badly. Is Angus in trouble? Or is he okay? No, 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 no. It's like, it's like, he hasn't had the best life. His family's like, pure trash. I assume his I honestly assumed his family was playing... Nah, no, no, let's not make assumptions here, man. How so? Just like... Assholes. Really stupid assholes. I just... I don't ever want to lose them. Not ever. I don't know what I'd do. I... I don't want to screw this up. Are you, are you two, like... Are you two doing all right? What are you screwing up? You doing all right? Yeah. I think. We've had some arguments lately. About what? Um. Stuff. But I'm just... I'm just parking lot trash. I've known that all along. I've got, like, no future if it was just me. When I'm awake at night, I listen to Angus snore. And I stare at the ceiling. And I think about how I'm a complete piece of shit. And, 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 Greg, 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 calm down, dude, it's okay. You're good, you're good, dude. And Angus is good. Yeah. Angus is good. Nice, smart, hot, cool dude. Down to chill, etc. Greg, etc. And you know, he's got that ass. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for finally saying it. You do. It's a fantastic ass, right? Fantastic ass. Perfect ass. So perfect, I could kiss that ass. Fantastic. 
Okay, I'm not comfortable with you objectifying my boyfriend. <laughs> Only his ass. And who could blame you? Really? I forget what I was going to say. I don't know. Probably worried about nothing. I have really up-up days. And really down-down days. And I don't know which it is until it's over sometimes. I kind of coast through on general blah right now. <laughs> up up days, down down days, days it all around. What kind of birds are those? I have no idea. I'm gonna guess geese. Hey bird! You gonna look over? You're just bouncing around? Northern dumbfowl. Eastern skinny bird. Do they fly south? Do you want me to make something up? Yeah. Yes. That's good. That's real good. That's good. I like good birds. Nice good birds to end the day. Oh, I'm so glad I hung out with Greg. I felt so wholesome. You know, minus the stabbing part and the... Oh, uh, you know what? The stabbing part was totally wholesome. <laughs> you don't remember? How could you forget the ass conversation? I don't think I'll ever forget the ass conversation. Anytime, anytime ass comes up, you know I'm going to remember that for a while. Anyway, Daddy-o, what are you doing? Shall we watch Galoy and Malloy and Galala blah 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 blah? Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. How's socializing? Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Any idea what's up with mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. Well, that's vague. <laughs> well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Vaguely stressed. Yeah, I feel that. Ah, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more, more specific. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Oh, no, 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 you'll... You'll have that, too. Hmm. Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Pop. Is it time for Malloy? So how about those uh, crawl space boxes? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll move them. I'll move them. TV time? Yes. TV time to see what kind of weird shit is on the television. Remember the cups on the ears, but not stuff like that. I guess it depends. Am I more... I wonder if I'm more the person to remember the ridiculous stuff or the things that come after. It all depends on the context, I think. That ass stuff was totally out of the blue. And because it was totally out of the blue, I was like, you know what? I mean, then again, I can't... Yeah, I was going to say I will remember that, but I have no way of knowing whether I will or will not remember that. So let's just say I hope to remember that someday. Maybe I need to put a sign on my wall that says, Remember the ass. Remember the ass scene. Don't forget the ass scene. Anyway, we're back. We're back on Garbo Malloy. Great crowd in here tonight. We'd never leave for too long, folks. Say Garbo. Yeah, Malloy. Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. Huh. Most of them, anyway. No, I mean those old nights. Those good nights. Just the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. Ha! Ha! These days are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are. Around the midsection. That's a whopper! That's a whopper. Malloy, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Garbo. Why is that, Malloy? I'm what you call body shameless. Coming up next, Garbo and I go to counseling. That was funny. I like that one. The part about the jokingly going to counseling. Because you may need counseling in a in a, in a, in a partnership like that. Anybody in the kitchen? No, because mom's at the church. Mom's at the church doing the church things. Have you moved those boxes yet? Have you spontaneously moved those boxes? Probably in the morning. Definitely in the morning. I'm going to go upstairs. Maybe talk to Greg. About how wonderful an evening we had out in the woods. What do you got? The jokes in this game are incredible. The TV show jokes 
Yikes. Yeah, no, nah, I, I get that. I get that. They're a little they're a little too on the nose, so to speak. But that type of TV show comedy kind of is. I don't know, like it's almost it's almost slapstick with your words, but not as funny as slapstick. Slapstick like, oh, I'm walking around. I hope something were not to like trip me over or anything, and then you slip on a banana peel, fall down like in a sewer grate and you're okay at the bottom or like the anvil falling on top of you like that's what i feel like slapstick or like just people slapping each other with sticks like that's also slap stick i like that stuff that's funny to me people hitting people hitting each other jokingly that's hilarious <laughs> hey kid hey -o! thanks for hanging out earlier no prob dude How's your knifed up hand? I live. Angus fixed me. Aw, oh, good boyfriend. Yeah, he's a keeper. Sorry I was a bummer there at the end. It's fine, dude, seriously. I just Yeah. Get some sleep, man. Will do. Night, bruh. What about you? Oh, I didn't say hello to you today. Hey, be the Ooh, I did not say hello to you. <gasps> Forgot. Yes, yes, sir. What are you up to? Doing budget stuff for the shop and watching music videos from the 80s. Those are the exact things you'd be doing if you were like 20 years older than you are now. Well, someone had to take over for my mom. I'm just being thorough. Well, you're doing a great job. Thanks. Gonna get back to work. Night night. How late do you work, B? Shame. Sh sharkle, sharkle, sharkle. Hello, sharkle. Sharkly, 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 shark. Do I have any new songs I can play? Now later, Space Dragon, Die Anywhere Else, good stuff. Cycles and Weird Autumn. I don't think I've played Cycles. That song, you know, that song. Cycles. Let's play the Cycles song. I don't think I've played that one yet. Is this the song that was playing just before in the woods? Whoop, that was the wrong one. Boop, boop, doo, doo. This game has such vibe elements to it. I'm always the kind of person who feels like they have to talk, like, all the time. So, like, these moments, like, right here, where the music's playing, is a... I'd say it's a nice break. More so, it's just... It's just a nice check that I, I need the vibe check every once in a while. I gotta I gotta vibe check. Every once in a while, you just gotta vibe check. Anyway, vibe check begin or resume. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. This is a long one.
Nice. Not bad, considering I don't know how to play this song. That was good. I like that. Cycles like leaves through the breeze. Cycling. Cycle of life. The nitrogen cycle. Yes. That was lovely. I love vibe checks. Is it bedtime? It is officially bedtime. Time to move on to the next day. Take off my shoes, get into bed, probably not shower at all. Maybe I am to assume that May is actually showering in between days and whatnot. It just, I don't see it on screen. But to my knowledge, she has not once showered. That's nasty. Or maybe she, well, she's a cat, so maybe she cleans herself. I have more questions. I need to know. I need to know the answers. Oh, I'm on top of a train. Spooky train. Can I fall between the... Nope. Okay. So clearly there's something saving me from falling between the train tracks. Or falling onto the train tracks below. It's a big old train. Train out into the distance. Big old train. Train moving on. Train, 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 train. Let's start with that violin to get things going in this wonderfully abstract world of dreams. I wonder if I looked deeply enough at these dreams whether they actually predict things about the game itself like i'm not sure if some of these dreams are like the functional purpose of this in the game i wonder if they're like foreshadowing or things of the past like i saw something in, in one of the first dreams something was kind of broken down it all came apart the next one was this giant squirrel monster thing i'm not sure how foreshadowing that one would be if there's even things to foreshadow about that uh can i go up here Oh, there are things. I can go up top. Oh, well, look at that. Oh, no, no, I fell right off. Didn't want to do that. Ding, 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 ding. Things are dinging along. Dinging along in the dreamland. And now I'm up here. Possum Springs. Deep Hollow Community. I need to be, I need big jump for that one. Uh, and that wasn't gonna work. Oh, but I'm on top of this building now. Aha, that's good. That's very good. I had to take a leap of faith. Leap of faith to jump right off. Nice. There we go. Come back over here. Anybody on this one? Yes, you, Tuba Boy. Tuba Chan. Tuba Chan plays a little song for us. Tuba song making a thing for us. Deep Hollow County. Deep. Deep in Hollow County. Deep in the hollowest of counties. Oh dear. My party hat was digging into my head. I got party hats on the brain. Always party hats on the brain. Actually, this music is kind of... Kind of spooky. Or is it the same one as it was before? Maybe just because I don't have all the other instruments, I'm just like, oh, this is scary. Oh, hello, shadow creature. I saw you before, too. In one of my other dreams. Hmm. There's something spooky going on in these woods. So play your saxophone and we'll all feel better. And I bet the next one's probably all the way back down again. Because I never actually fully went to the right side. So I'll go find it over there. Oh, sweet. I, uh, I jumped off another building. Oh, there you are. Right here. Perfect. The last of the dream players. It's time to go back to the little tower thing. Little shrines. I wonder what big-ass creature is going to get me this time. So what do we got? What do we got, folks? <gasps> Bam! What is it? Hello? It's above. It's a giant crocodile, or perhaps it's an alligator. I can't tell. Big animals coming down. Perhaps it's foreshadowing about those who will be my potential assailants one day. They're gonna get me. They're out to get me! Cause I'm innocent. You won't break me. 
Wake up, May. It's time for the next day. A. Eh? Who's on the computer this morning? What do we got? Oh, Galreg. And the others. I want to talk to Angus. Oh, did I? No. Whoops. I clicked the wrong button again. That's okay. I tend to click the wrong button rather often. Maybe if I played more Demon Tower, I'd be able to talk to Angus. Happy Halloween, dude! Get spooked or something. Nice. Away message. Annual harvest play... Harvest... Harfest. Uh, Harfest. The Harvest Harvest. The Harvest Festival. Harfest. Annual Harfest play tonight at the Old Pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. The Old Pickaxe. I wonder what business... I mean, the Old Pickaxe is. I mean, I suppose... It's just general maintenance around town. Can I click that thing? Ghostly Guard, world's largest pumpkin brock conduit to dead? What? Fantastic Yums? I don't know. I'm unsure. Truly unsure. I wonder if mom's a little less stressed. I wonder if the boxes have been moved. The boxes have been moved. And what's here? Oh. And what might you be? Oh, it's to the crawl space. I'm in the crawl space. Cans. A little safe. Hmm. An old safe. How am I going to open this thing? Dynamite? No. Is there is there a code, perhaps? Got to be a way to open a safe. Um, Maybe we input the code. And the code is 3353. Can't do anything if it's of the safe. There are secrets hiding in my basement. What if my mom is a killer? Or my dad's a killer? I'll figure out how to get in there. Gotta figure out how to open that safe. Are there dark secrets to be found in Possum Springs? I've definitely grown quite a bit since then. A little bit taller. A regular bit wider. Granddad said I was sturdy. Screw it. I am sturdy. Yes, I am. Wait, Birdie. You want to say hi, Birdie? Hi, Birdie. Hello, Birdie. Hey, Trash Bird. This bookshelf is like the ghost of Granddad. Hanging out in the corner. Maybe not his ghost. Like, his skeleton. <sighs> okay. I just made myself sad. Why did I come over here? Oh, hmm. Uh, there's like, hmm, something written inside this book cover. Left 45. Right 100. Left 22. Left 90. Right 15. That might be useful later. Click. Perhaps to open up the safe? Is this like... What is this? Hmm. Oh, did I just write it down? Thought become fire ghost. F the cops. Blah, blah, blah. Thing here. Where is my thing about numbers? In my book. I don't know. But I bet it can open up the safe. So I wonder what's in the safe. I wonder if it's a gun. It's probably a gun safe. Like, what else would you... I mean, for a normal family like this, what else would you keep in your safe aside from, like, a gun to make sure that your kids or, uh, your, like, young adult children don't do it? Oh, wait. <laughs> I know how to open this thing. That 45, right 100. Guess I didn't need to think it. Thanks, Granddad. Aha! It's opening. And what's inside? What the hell? It's an old tooth? Yeah, that's a tooth. Granddad put a tooth in a safe in the basement. Well, never know when you'll need an extra tooth. You and me, tooth, we're gonna go far. I'll take it. Now I have tooth. Mysterious tooth. Maybe it's the tooth of a skeleton that I'll find out in the woods and when I press the tooth into the skeleton all perfectly like I'll be able to unlock the secrets of Possum Town City Boulevard County. Now the boxes are down here. Mom, you look so perky this morning because your eyes are open. How are you? Hey, Mom. Mm-hmm. Um, you okay? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. You're lying. So, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? Um, okay. Yes. So what's the story? I just felt like it wasn't where I should be. 
where you should be? What does that even mean? Ugh, never mind. Let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I am all ears. I really am dying to find out. And it may even be why I'm so frustrated all the time recently that you won't tell me what's going on. Or that I feel that you're a bit of a deadbeat daughter of mine. Maybe. I heard stuff around the corner, making sure nobody's coming into my apartment without me knowing. Why you decided to abandon all the plans we made as a family. Jeez, Mom! Where's this coming from? You know, you're the... F the first Borowski to go to college. Yeah, Mom, I know. You... I only heard that since I was, like, six. Well, honey, we've been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years... And got into all kinds of trouble just for you to decide you'd rather be here. Might as well have taken all that effort and money and worry and dumped it into a hole. Oh, you are not very happy. Ma I don't like the way you're talking to me, Mom. Not very, not very good, Mom. I don't really like that. Are you having one of your mood swings again? Ugh, like, I'm the moody one in this house. You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happened to the house? Maybe it, is, it just isn't where we should be. But n this isn't funny, Mom. Like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is that you do. You know what? Maybe if I'd had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not. Get to, maybe you wanted me to get out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of failures that is our family. Oof. I'm leaving now. Unless, yeah, no, I'm definitely leaving now. Rough times. Rough times in the Borowski household. That's unfortunate. I wonder if they are losing the house. That's pretty terrible. Oh, that area is not fixed. I'm always checking. I'm always checking. I'm always checking, but I'm a cat. Hardy har har har. Hardity hardity hard har hard. Summers, what you got for me today? More poetry? Wow, decorations! Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez. Wanna hear a new poem? Yes. Always want to hear your poems. Bats and moon. Against the gloom. The night is black. I made a snack. Cool. I microwaved. Pizza I'd saved. Though pizza cold is breakfast gold. That is so true. It really happened. Pizza for breakfast. I've done that before. I've had very, many a different type of breakfast in my life. What about you, dude? Don't touch my pumpkin. I'm gonna touch your pumpkin. I'm going to touch your pumpkin. Can I touch your pumpkin? Well, I wanted to, but it seems the game will not let me, so... Alas. I will not be touching your pumpkin. Not because I didn't want to! But because... Because I just really can't. I'm physically unable to do so. Making my way into town. Anybody in the subway? Any any dudes in the subway? Oh, what's this? I can just view right here. I think I've already read that before. Never underestimate the old people people and state funding. Hirogi stand. Can I get a pretzel? Delicious pretzels. But I cannot grab pretzels. What about you, hippo kiddos? Oh, is this not a subway station? Oh, it's completely flooded. And there's like a little, little, uh, like, boat there. Hmm. Hey there, dude. What is this? <gasps> Holy shit! The dudes! Someone hecked up the dudes! Who did this? Why did they do it? Nuke Possum's thought. Nuke Possum Springs. <laughs> Are you gonna talk to me? Is there somebody in there? Where is everybody? What? 
<laughs> oh my god, we used to do that. Awesome. <laughs> well, you go easy on my street. <laughs> Deal. Are you like tied up or something, dude? <laughs> Trapped in a gourd? Maybe. <laughs> that seems like somebody trapped you down here. Maybe you snitched and got stitched. Because you know what they say. Snitches get stitches. Yo, dude, what do you got? You going to Harbfest? Nah, I gotta watch the game. Is there a game tonight? Well, no, but I was gonna watch my fave highlights. Why don't you come on out? Might be good. Stretch your legs. See the parade. Eh. Ever seen the game live? Nah, never. Come on at the hard, the hard fest. You never know. Yeah, all right. Yeah, go smelters. Go smelters. Go smelters. Go apparatuses that smelt things. Okay, I should... Also, where was the other video outpost? Yeah, that's what I want to wonder. If this is video outpost 2, where's the other one? Hey? Oh, uh, so let's stop at the old pickaxe. Yo, dude! You hyped for Harpfest? Um, Harpfest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds really cool. It is. I'm gonna get a pizza, too. All to myself. Wow. You have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing, then? Hanging out in really embarrassing places online? Ruining my life. Hanging out in really embarrassing places online. Yup. See ya. Later. Later. Whoa. Oh, I can't go into the old pickaxe store. Oh. Oh, everything is so great and heart festy. Which is basically just the less spooky Halloween. Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that. Or I could wander a bit. Taking the harvesty, harfesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. Okay, so maybe I should... Y'all talking about coffee? Cigarettes. Coffee and cigarettes. Oh, hey. Sinkhole. What's up, Aunt Dolly? Hey, Aunt Mall Cop. Mall Cops don't carry guns, May. Jeez. I, I guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? Blocking off the road. Oh yeah, I wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No, tell me now. Once. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it then? You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. That ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen. That's helpful. What's wrong with it? I don't trust giant load-bearing machines you can assemble and disassemble in one day. It's the hit record. We've always had the hit record at Harvest. Yeah, since 1984. Maybe that's a clue that we should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. Okay, everyone, let's take a step back here and cool down. We are going to have the hit record at Harvest tonight. Fine, then. I'll send all the lawsuits your way. Bring it, Colleen. <laughs> Bring it on, Colleen. You think I care? I don't care. I'll take your lawsuits, no problem. I know some guy in town. He's a lawyer. His name's CJ. He'll take care of me. That's how we'll do it. <laughs> My god. Alright, let's go say hello to Bruce. Bruce out here being all Brucey. Hey, what's up, Pastor? Howdy. You waiting for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. A date? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is someone calling, me heading out, and them not showing up. You were meeting them at the statue of Saint Rubelo? Yeah, the fire breathing guy. Who like eight people. That's a bit of an oversimplification. Hmm. But yeah, basically. Cool guy to have a statue of outside the church. I mean, you know, what a saint. Well, I didn't put it here. 
But can't we learn something from Saint Rubelo? Breathe fire. Eat people. Eat people. Yeah. Sure. This statue is a part of our Encourage Criminal Acts outreach. It's working. Hey, listen. You know, if you ever want to talk or have any questions about, like, God, sure. You can always talk to me. It's kind of in my job description because I'm a pastor. People talk to me. Okay. Pastor on the street. Do, 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 do. Talking dog to Bruce. Brucey boy. You're out here in the woods again? Hello, Bruce. Smoking your cigarettes. You gonna go down to Heartfest tonight? Don't know. Maybe. Keep to myself. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay. Uh, we'll see, I suppose. Good talk, Bruce. You don't say much. But what, are you, what, what you do say, I'm happy to hear. I'm happy to listen to you anytime, Bruce. Tell me your problems, Bruce. Tell me your problems. I want to know about your problems. Tell me your problems. Or don't. That's okay. Let's see what's inside the church. Is it my mom? Can I go into the atrium? Is there anybody praying in the atrium? Hello? Love and the peace and the joy. Hmm. Well, there's nothing, nothing interested in here. So, uh, that's okay. That's fine. That's okay. Let's go talk to my mom instead. Let's keep talking about things, mom. Let's, let's get those bad feelings out of our systems. Come on, mom. Talk to me. Talk to me about your feelings. We'll get it all out of your system now, and then everything will be wonderful. I'm busy. Oh. Maybe this old tooth will let me unlock the library. Nope. It does not. It does not. Stupid step. Crazy old step. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, I'm gonna go back home, I guess. Get ready for Heart Fest. That makes sense. I'll go back home. That'll be wonderful. I'll go back home. I'll go get my Heart Fest gear on. I'll. What am I gonna dress up as? I wonder if I'll dress up like a fire breathing demon. Don't know where I got that idea. Don't know where at all I got that idea from. Bouncing on the picket fence. Gonna go back home. Jumping on a car. Going back into the house. Why, welcome to the party, somebody. Find me somebody to party with. Me somebody to party with. Got a little ditty there. And for you, in the party, we put on party hats around here. It's just kind of a thing we do. I need no, there need me, there need be no explanation. But I've got the, the navy blue pink polka dot one. That's apparently going on the back of my head, in between my headphones. Yes! What a perfect fit. I love it. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to accessorize further. Just really like the stream so far. Perfect. I mean, that is the intent around here. The intent is to have a nice, wonderful stream. Something a little exaggerated at times. Something that really showcases my personality. Or like, I don't know, just to play video games, really. To put things simply. This is my excuse to play video games. I don't usually play a lot of video games. I do now. But previously, not much. Alright, getting ready for Harfest. Oh yeah, normal clothes. Oh yeah, time to get spooky. I'm gonna... Sweet! Nice. Witch dagger! Cool, witch dagger. I like that. I was gonna say, am I gonna be something spooky? It's kind of spooky. I mean, the knife could look like it's going through my head. But, it's going through my hat instead. Now it's dark. Is anybody home? Is Papa home yet? Oh, Papa! Papa, are you home? Oh, I literally can't go back upstairs. It won't let me jump. Hello? Hmm. They must already be out. 
Harfest. It doesn't have the circle around it like the other titles did. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm gonna go spook some town members. Ooh. <laughs> Spooky. Can I go into the sewers? Nope, not during Harfest. Can't put myself in a danger. Wow, y'all look evil. You specifically look evil. Are you tapping on your phone? What are you doing on your phone? Oh, I can't jump at all. Okay, I, just, I guess I'm just gonna walk. Into the thing! Go! Good morning to you, Harry. Dare you spin the wheel of destiny? Young one, I think I will. Explain. None can explain the power of the wheel, save that it is an unknowable circular soothsayer. Oh snap, is it gonna say soothe? The soothe shall be said. Okay, I'm totally into this. I'm gonna give a maximum spin. Uh, maximum spin. Well, as close to maximum as I could. I wonder what number I get. Where's the two? Two? As in too much. <gasps> A mighty spin! A commendable spin! Your for- you! Fortune is your future! A place you will soon be. Forever. Fortune? Okay, that checks out. Cool with that. Your card says much. You shall know many troubles. Even until the end of your days! Oh. Yep. I feel like that's just everyone's life. Everyone's got problems. How is this a fortune? The cards do not lie. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable. So this is unknowable truth. You have learned much, child. I'm 20, not a child. But I guess that was pretty interesting. May the wheel ever spin in your favor, young one. Uh, alrighty then. Well, fortune. Fortune for my days. I like that. I like fortune for my days. I could use more fortune in my life. Like. Like. I don't know. What kind of fortune do I need in my life? Like a fortune cookie. I need Chinese food. That's fortune and splash them. I need Chinese food. I could really be good for Chinese food. Actually, I don't even know what we're doing tonight. Uh, I may actually have Chinese food tonight. As it turns out, and I've completely forgotten until now, I remembered this morning, then forgot, then remembered now, that today, actually, is there's a birthday in my family. So I'm going back to see my family tonight. We're going to have a wonderful birthday celebration. We'll probably go out for dinner. It'll be wonderful. And maybe we'll get Chinese food. Or go to the local diner in town. But who knows? I am very much looking forward to it. It's been a very hectic week in terms of working stuff so far. Hold up! Co Colleen, how do I get into this thing? What are, you, what are you doing? God damn it! I'm like, this is a part of the same tent, so I'm just under the impression that this guy and the other guy are the same exact person, so I'm rolling with that. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Welcome to Harfest Spooktacular What a Balloon Toss! You know what to do, or can figure it out pretty quickly. Okay, let's go! I'm gonna. Oh my god, it's you. It's you. Whoa, you hit the spirit ghost! Did I, did I only hit them? Yes. I'm a scary spirit. I'm gonna hunt you for it. I'm extremely cold and... Ah, jeez, I'm wet. No, oh, gee. Oh, no, no, I'm dead again. Oh, my God. Greg! Oh, you... Oh, no, 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 that's, she's, that's the older lady. Oh, you've hit me on the evil witch. Oh, my God, evil witch. And her name's Colleen. Oh, what am I gonna do next? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, my. I'm gonna be hit. Ah! I don't get hit by water balloons. Ah, I'm melting because it's water. Are you a pumpkin? For a second, I thought you were a potato. Oops, I'm the pumpkin. <laughs> okay. You hit me. I'm the pumpkin. You got me. I'm the pumpkin wet. Ouch, that one actually hurt me a little bit. Mm. Come on. You gotta get the pumpkin. No. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. I'm freezing now. Pumpkin out. Oh, no. I'm going away. Now, I'm the pumpkin. I love, these, I love these town folk. No, come on. Rattle, rattle! I'm the skeleton! Rattle, rattle, rattle! I'm a skeleton! And I'm getting wet! Clankety clank, you hit my bones! What have I done to do now that you've hit my bones? Bones, 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 bones. Okay, I wanna, I wanna get more than 20, please. Man, I 
suck at water balloons. Oh my god, please, please, no! Water balloons! Clinkity clonk! I'm the funny bone! I'm all wet! Oh dear! Okay, that was that was it, I guess. I did it. Ooh! Well, that sure was something! On behalf of Possum Springs Town Council, we urge you to support local business. And enjoy our historic home! Possum Springs? <laughs> More like... Oh, Kathleen, no. More like Awesome Springs. <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> that was hilarious. Brought to you by the local town council. Council, council like. If you'll excuse me a moment, I'm gonna pour the rest of this fruit juice into my, into my mug cup that used to have my tea in it. I need some more drink. That's oh, very pink. Well, that sounded like somebody urinating into a cup. Oh, it certainly doesn't sound like... It doesn't look like somebody urinated into a cup. And if they did, they need to see a doctor immediately. Because this is insanely red. It smells beautiful, though. Hmm, what else can I do in town of the Harvest Festival? The Harfest. Har Festival. Harvest Festival. That's exactly what it is. Walk into the old pickaxe to see my buddy B. Who's probably working. Hey, hey! What you up to? Seriously? We're putting on this year's Harfest pageant. Oh, right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's this thing supposed to start? Uh, 10 minutes, I think. You think? Ugh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear you. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B. Please. It's a fun part. B. Yeah? I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. Like, they rewrote it like six times in the past two years to be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now and like 80% spooks. So like fake history? Fake history. Ah, oh, goodness. It's like the bad remake that doesn't respect the source material. It starts off like normal, but gets... Anyway, you got like five minutes to look at your lines. Psh, I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay. I will not wing it. Now presenting something else. This fruit punch kind of tastes like cherry cough syrup. Nice. Oh, like, I didn't see you there. Be ye ghosts. Are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? <laughs> Through the mists of time, I see, like weary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John! Yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point, I do spy a deep hollow. And within, a great dead tree. And besides, with the witch a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels and carrying these 300 beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O oh excellent brother. <laughs> Ho, travelers! Bear a crust of bread for a needy woman. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny! <laughs> Haggard witch! Horrible to look upon! Cruel young men, ye did not even offer one of thy 300 fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. I shall kiss ye in thee, thou art a rude and naughty boy. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thou art a rude and naughty boy. Thy naughtiness must be met with punishment. I art uncomfortable. Um. Thy punishment is a curse that shall take thee and thee even this very night. <sighs> I was born among these trees, neath a harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these three hundred beaver pelts. But little did, like, anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. Everybody's laughing in the audience. I don't think there was 80% spooks. I think that was just fine. That was just enough spooks. Or right, are we on to the next scene now? Are we continuing forward? Help, help! We're continuing. Who will help a poor traveler? Uh, um... By the moon and stars above us, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yup. Ugh, witch! Yup. I swear thee, friend, that this very day, this horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die. Zooms! Zoons? We camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree. And even now his body lieth upon the earth. Lifeless as a pile of 300 beaver pellets. Oh, it chilleth the heart. Hee 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 hee. A curse upon the rude young men. Th that's not... Um. Hmm. She has cursed the spring, and now I shall die. Whoa. Wow. I am also undone, for I have dranketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye! And yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. Ooh, ah! Everybody likes to see. I'd say we're at like 40%. 40% spooks. Maybe even 50, 60 even. I think the only history I know of is the beaver pelts, right? Gaze upon them. Gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, I am tormented by the accusing glare of 300 ghostly beavers it would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave doth that witch know what she has done no no she does not i don't think anybody will ever know <gasps> it's the witch um crap i got my lines or, but what is a ghost? For each man is determined on his own path. What is a ghost? <laughs> For each man is determined on his path, and each path leads only to his end. Okay. And yet each, and yet each path may lead to un places unknown. You, from the bus station, young witch. It is I, the god of the forest. Just, just didn't expect you to. Ain't that the way? So, so, uh, witch, thou hast tarried too long in this world. I banish thee to wander in the nights, to the stranger places. God, how did you know? I, I what? <laughs> I, I what? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end at night in the woods, but that is not the whole of the story. You see.
This is your line. Oh dear. Uh. Mm. Forest God, thou hast no power here. Even now, thy end beginneth. Ack! My infernal powers! Shh! Even now, the world you know endeth. And who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Ooh! Ooh. Take care. Bye, janitor, dude. Bye, bye, buddy. Hey, is that the end of the show? That was that was crazy. It was ridiculous. And so was founded. Then this festival on Halloween, we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, Mayor Ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the county seat! <laughs> now leave before I curse you all! Oh no, audience! And that's our show! Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Like, also be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out from, like, the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local business. <laughs> anyway, happy Halloween, everybody. Jeez, thanks, guys. I am never doing that again. So what do we do now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner, and we're gonna watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a date thing. Oh. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going under the buffet out by Ham Panther. Kind of have to go. Business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. Okay. Well. Good night. Night. Peace out, folks. Maybe I'll just go wander around in the woods alone. This is garbage. Who can I hang out with? Perhaps somebody lying just off screen? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What in the... What the... Oh, my God. Hey, um, anyone? Shit. Yo, this is where the spooky stuff begins. Oh my. The heart of hometown since 1972. The donkey. It's the old grocery donkey place. Where the hell did he go? Shit. Do I continue? Do I go back and get help? I feel like I should go back and get help. Call the police, maybe? I don't know. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Um Let's let's pretend this eye contact never happened. May. Go oh. Go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid? He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that. May, you shouldn't be out here doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No! May, now. Oh, she's totally in on it. Mall cop girl's totally in on it. Why am I... Oh, okay. I'm not allowed to go backwards. I can't go backwards. I have to keep going. <laughs> this is spooky. I gotta keep going to the left. Left, left. Man. All right. That was spooky all of a sudden. If only my Halloweens were this spooky. You know, things that like uh, being worried about murders occurring in my local town. 
I feel like if there were any problems in my local town, it was just drug problems. Although, that might lead to murder. Oh, okay. Is this my dream that night? Someone's screaming down there. My controller was rumbling. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh, me. Oh, my. Um, do I... Rumbly controller. Alrighty, then. Well done. And that's when the night turns over, I guess. That must have been my nightmare that night. Achievement unlocked. What? Part three. The long fall. As in, I am falling. And still falling. And continuing to fall. All the time. Wake up, May! It's time to discover the spooky dark secrets of Possum Springs. Oh, I, I should look at my journal. But first, who's got stuff? Is this supposed to be Angus? I don't I don't know who Ang uh God damn it, wrong button. Gosh darn it! Gotta click the right button when I'm trying to chat with people. Button, button, button? Nope. Greg. Hey dude, sorry we couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today! Today! Because I'm in charge, and I say so. Off to work. Bye. Hey, mate. Thanks so much for your help last night. Like, woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. I will. I will, I will, I will. I will pop by and say hello. Family time? Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. We had to take, like, one moment and make it, like, the official version of us. Right? I wanna say hello to Birdie. Hello, Birdie! Birdie? You're just, like, the same every day? What is your bird existence like? I wonder. Anything else in the bookshelf? Do, do, do we have any detective books out here? Oh, of course. Of course we do. Anything else? Do we have any books about ghosts? Like real life ghosts? Do we have any books for nut jobs, I guess? No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. You're not losing it, dude. You are in fact keeping it very close. All right, I'm keeping it close. That's good, it's good, it's very good. Hey, hon. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? After the way you talked to me the other day, I don't know. I don't know if you deserve that. No, just kidding. Hey, hon. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today, honestly. Hey, hon. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just... I don't want a repeat of a few years ago. And what does that involve? Hmm? I'm really sorry, Mom, about all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Wanna talk about it? Later. I'm still like putting it together. C can we talk about school? Also later. Please! So what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're grown up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt, smoothing all that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a, a, a kind of a mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay. Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal, and I just feel so stupid. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us. 
and now they own the house and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? I'm a really huge jerk. It's okay, sweetie, don't worry. But I feel like I should worry. What you reading? It's a book of unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Want to hear a real teaser? Yes. Yes. Give me the teaser. All right. There's this man. There's a man lying dead in a kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh. Last thing. The dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there is one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. About murder? Maybe. Can't solve a murder without one. Okay, so I have a question. What kind of scar does the dead guy have? Who's the other guy in the room? Yeah, what kind of scar does the guy, dead guy have? Straight line. A few inches across, hidden under the hair. Hmm. Maybe he was already shot before and he just died. I don't know. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet into the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. <laughs> That's why he has blood on one hand. Yup, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge. Holding up a pickup, Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. All right, I'm going to get going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, Inspector Mom. Aw, that was sweet. Mom, dead guy. Uh, but where was the thing? I'm going to see the the sketch from um, wherever the spooky dude was. At the cots, never drink it again. Everything feels bad. Door, door, case this. Do oh, that was from the beginning. Bandit Queens, working on a thing. Happy Greg's okay. Good. Nuke Possum Springs. Harfest Halloween. There. Now that's ominous. That's spooky. That's exactly the kind of spook I need in this world. That needs more spook. Uh, is this area all good yet? Nope. Not at all. Can't go down the street just yet. Could go up on the telephone lines, but why do that? I'm not I'm not trying to get in trouble with the law or anything. Selmers, bro. Bro, Selmers, what's up? How is your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Cool. I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Want to hear a new poem? Yes. Autumn wins. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. What's an autumn sim? Cheating on your wife. With some gas station skank. In November. Oh, right. Yeah, that's uh, inconsiderate. Very. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Yes, Selma? Yes, Selma? You're gonna break your neck someday. I'll make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> I'm a big enough target. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. You too. Oh my god, you know? I can go say hello to the buddy up there and uh, crack open some stargazing. Crack open some stargazing. One, two, three. Up, 
and then I can um, get up on top, up to the top, top of the building, and jump onto the roof. I hope I didn't miss any um, stargazing days, because uh, I was meaning to do that before. But I haven't been on top of the roof. How would I have known? Jump, house, jump, other house. Hello. Miss May Borowski. Present. Mmm. Smell the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to miss. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of. Want to see some stars? Yeah! I want to see stars! Come have a look. I'd love to see some stars. Gotta turn on the filter. You have to remember the filter. Filter. Ugh. Alright, let's find these things. Let's find these stars. There you go. Found one. Let's see, let's see. It's a shot snake. Big snake. Big snake? Yep. A anything else? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same... Big snake. And they came together. And together slew the... Big snake. You learn. Why did the big snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Jeez, I don't know, but... Can we just keep saying big snake? Big snake. <laughs> big snake. Big. Snake. Big snake. But where's the other one? Oh, I see. I can find more. I'll be able to populate the sky with all the different constellations I've found. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Oh, gotta be over here and then up here somewhere. And there you are. Got you. Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. Hmm. Oh, you'll like this one. Really? Because they are dead? Okay, yeah. I'm into it. Gramercy the medium. In life, he spoke with the dead? Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait. That's dumb. How so? That's just called being alive. How did... Wait. Wh what? His own spirit possessed his body. That's like literally the same thing as being alive. No, he was dead, but possessed. By himself? Yes. Oh god, this is dumb. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually start things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral. <laughs> that is our pet for the day. Well, gee willikers, Mr. Chazikov. <laughs> willikers. I'd laugh at the Willikers. Gee Willikers, Batman! Well, that was pretty great. Yes, it was. More in a couple days? I sure hope so. Snake? Gramercy. Gotta fill up that notebook of mine. Come back down from off the power lines. Don't want to get arrested or anything. Certainly not. I've never yet been arrested. Not in this game or in real life. However... If I were to get rested in real life, I certainly hope it wouldn't be because I was bouncing around on power lines. I know how dangerous those can be. You won't get shocked, though, unless you make contact with the ground while you're still holding on, so. Delicious pretzels. Delicious pretzels! Oh, the pretzels! Anyway, what's up, dude? Oh, hello, May. Um, do I know you? I don't know if you remember me, Miss Rosa. Oh, you, mmm... I knew your grandfather. I visited you the day after you were born. You were so small. I guess some things don't change, eh? How did you know my granddad? I'm here most days. Why don't you stop by sometime? And I'll tell you all about him. Things you might not know. All right. You've got my interest. Sweet, curious child. I'm going to ask you about the tooth, lady. I got grandpa's tooth, maybe. Yo, what's up, hoodlums? 
Yo, what's up, my delinquents? Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. Thought I saw something. Okay, um, you should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. All right, well, peace out. Oh, it says Nuke Possum. Nuke Possum. It says that on the bottom. I understand that now, where the Nuke Possum Springs came from. Ha! <laughs> Makes sense. Did y'all catch the game? Did y'all catch some games? It's wet again. And I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, um, why are we still standing out here? Someone asked to. Very, very good point. Let's see what Greg's up to. I want to see my Greg. I want to see my Greg. See my Greg. What's up, Greg? How what you got out there, Greg? Snakeums, swooping for a bite. Sup, dude? Ugh. Ugh. Long night. Weird night. What's up? I'll tell you band practice. Cool. What you up to? Saying hello. You gonna head out to band practice? No, I'm just saying hello. I gotta tell, I'll talk to my buddy at the old pickaxe. I gotta go talk to B. I have to rekindle my best friendship with Alligator Girl or Crocodile. Whoa, they boarded up shop. Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, Pizza Place. I miss you too. Let's go say hello to Angus too. I wish I could talk more with Angus. You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. We're night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Cool. Good talk. Good talk, Angus. I just came in to say hello. I just came to say hello. Do 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 do. Yeah, someone definitely got murdered. Were stolen away. War some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. That's garbage. War sucks, okay? Alright, what's up, B? I just came to say hello. Hey, B! Hey, uh. Like, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. Might not got like really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still like putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day. Yeah, I'm going to go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly. Break like breaks supplies for fun. And, like, he leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. Like, feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. Like, I don't even know what that means. Still. Whoa. That's pretty intense, dude. I guess now I gotta go talk back to Greg. I go back to over to Greg. And then go to band practice. Then tell everyone about my situation. We'll become, I don't know, we'll become novice detectives. Not only do we a band, but we make songs about murder. Like actual murders or unknown things around Possum Springs. All right, Greg, I'm ready. What you up to? Gonna head down to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. And so they went to band practice, walking into the old birthday zone. Yo, what's up, uh, Jerm? Just sitting here? Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Jerm. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. 
All right, guys, let's do it. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ah, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby. Up to the roof. And pee off the side of the building. Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry. I'm just tired. Fair ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. I'm totally going on top of that. I'm totally going on top of the building. Oh, this is this is not fun. No, oh my God, I don't like this. It's too many. It's too much. Pumpkin head. What is behind that mask? The pumpkin head. Oh, I keep missing the wrong one. There we go. I got that. I got that handled now. It's a spooky song. Oh my god. No, oh dear. It could have been better. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. What in the world? I am I was not prepared for this. Okay, well I think I, I may have gotten back on track. Oh my god. This is just getting harder and harder. Oh my goodness. Well at least it's good for somebody. It's okay, we're not a good band, we're just a band. Not a good band, just band. I was not expecting that. Wow. Wow, mate, that was uh pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song. This is true. I don't. Whew. So fast. You you just pushed a button. <laughs> I am so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm going to sound so husky. And uh, anyway, I don't n even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid. And also, I think, was in my head afterwards while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something. I got to do something about this. Because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? No. I'm kind of freaked out. <laughs> it probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Not nah, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw. Dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see... If there's, like, some ghosty stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust. Such as? Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could just go check the library. For books? About it? No, they have a local paper on file. Going back, like, a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there. Probably. Oh, wow. I didn't even know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. Like, when's the last time you were at a library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Applebaum. Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind. Let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit.
Time to go look for ghosts. The library. Liberary, liberary, liberary. Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's all like one of the graffiti murals. After someone gets shot, like, by a, or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you, isn't it? I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Pumpkin head dead. Oh, pumpkin head guy. Pumpkin head guy. guy he's dead. That was the song. Walk into the library. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfiche? Microfiche? Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. I want to talk to you more. I can talk to you more. Slow night. Yep. Spooky here all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. I believe it. Who's Larry? I guess we'll find out. Make our way to the elevator. It is pretty spooky here, honestly. Could be worse, I guess. Could have actual dead people. So I'm going to assume that this is the second floor. Computers, computers, computers. What's on this computer? Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ. Born 1967. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience. Mining. Construction. Well digging. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean... You should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be, like, guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my, uh, like, young socialist chatterbox group? Maybe. There's a kid section? This is definitely the kid section. Holy crap! What? It's Charity Barity! Like, what's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school? The school of being five freaking years old. Alright. So, this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, no, no. I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like... You were kidnapped by a cult? You were on some curse? You were kidnapped by a cult? And when they were, like, brainwashing you... Instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and a magic husk. That's... That's not... Like, okay, okay, yeah, go on. Instead of that, it was this effing pink nightmare. <laughs> you were scared of it? No, no, I was bored to death. I was... It was taking forever about, like, being kind to others and, like, I don't know, helping an old neighbor do engine repair. And That sounds... Nice? Charity Barity helps old Mr. Plonko fix his hovercraft? Oh, no, that's the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity, Pink Nightmarity? Charity Barity, I just did Charity. Or Charity? Ugh. Nasty. Oh, I guess I just have to go up the elevator again. Well, at least I checked out the spooky kids section. It's pretty spooky. The silhouette upon my character, the dark floor that's mostly just black space. Uh, I dig it. Feels very cinematic. Feels very cinematic. Going up! I like how I had the option now. That's good. I have the option. Can I go up farther? I'll figure that out later. <laughs> oh wow, it's dusty up here? It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep. Ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Oh, right. Well, that's even more impressive. So we're going to go find this guy. Because he took someone. 
and he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through and that's not good that all sounded a lot more badass in my head it's okay it was fine <laughs> oh excuse me it's okay it was fine totally fine walking out the brick yard oh my god the classic yawn and um sneeze what's on this computer oh thank you thank you somebody for blessing me all right there she is cool it's the microfiche so i have no idea how to use it really i i can't know how to do everything i'm sorry but what expertise have you brought to this thus far this whole thing was my idea no your idea was ghost hunting my idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it if you think it's so stupid why are you here because you're my friend <laughs> you asshole oh 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 we friends be a twist oh we friends here let me get this set up we'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge we gotta be friends. All right, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move. I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, May. Hmm. I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. How do we do this? Um. Step one, look at the screen. Uh, step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Step four, profit. Spectral happenings. Hey, look at this. Spectral happenings at Possum Jump. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded overlook known as Possum Jump. According to the lovebirds, at approximately 11.45 p.m., a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having leapt from the great height, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike up into the state foot forest hills, Possum Jump, is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. It also holds historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. Hmm, yeah. Looks like Possum Jump. Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? That's over by where Bruce is, I think. I, I assume that's Possum Jump. Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. No, I guess not. Gonna check it out, though. <laughs> Go nuts. That's actually probably a mile or so from Mrs. Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try to avoid any basements. Or corpse husbands. Cosigned. Sound off opinion lane. Um, Sound off opinion lane! We would like to remind the men of our town to please refrain from spitting on the sidewalk. The unsanitary habit is unseemly and beneath you. Parents, please please show your daughters are not participating in the new trend of skirts showing the ankles. I do not think we need to remind you which road of brimstone this temporary fashion trend will lead your dear daughters down. I have been witnessing more and more teenage girls coming into our town on a Saturday night, unchaperoned, using vulgar slang terms, certainly unfit for me to print here, and blocking the sidewalks by walking arm in arm. They are loud and also flirt with boys, unbashedly while smoking cigarettes. These young ladies need to be stopped before our young ladies get any ideas, or our boys will fall in with the wrong girl. Young men have been seen around Possum Springs, enraging in the ridiculous behavior of wearing mismatched patterns in their suits. This type of outfit may be all the rage in Bright Harbor, but good luck getting any respectable businessman around here to employ you. You will all look like rabid clowns. Oh, and Councilman uh, Puchinskaya's plan for 3rd Street is a joke. What else is there to say? That's not very spectral. Oh, ghostly rumors. Ghostly rumors haunt new historical society. The Possum Springs Historical Society's conversion of the Shrygeist Hotel into its new headquarters and education center has hit a snag. Custodial head Jed Nusume has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'd be there after hours doing my work, and I'd hear someone walking around trying door nabs. I came out to see who was fooling, but there was nobody there, said Nusume. Trying to get this map room operational for the children all the while, I'm looking over my shoulder expecting to see God knows what. God. 
censored. Mr. Nusume had previously requested to work only daylight hours when other staff were present in the building, but even that proved to be too terrifying. I don't go up to the off-limits area anymore. I don't go up past the second floor and then only go to the office. I know the others laugh, say I'm a little Joe or something, but they can all go spit. Little Joe for the Uninitiated was a local ghost story popular some years ago. The Possum Strings Historical Society has refused to comment on Mr. Nusume's claim at this time. Hey, 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 B, look at this. Ghost spotted. Historical Society? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? Itchy ear. I think this was when I was, wasn't was in school. Oh, after the softball incidents. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. Used to be owned by one of the miner owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel, mill, something like that. An actual haunted house. Eh, no. Elementary school kids are there like all the time. They have like summer arts and crafts programs. Okay, well, still worth checking out. Yes, I agree. This is over here. Deep Hollow County Morns. Dead people! Nice. Deep Hollow County Morns. The final group of bodies from the 1888 explosion have been recovered. Two days shy of the one-year anniversary of the tragedy, these five men bring the total of dead to 112. Two of the men, Addison Pine and Henry Harvey, were the ones who set off the, the explosion. Although mine bosses had been informed that gas pockets were present in the section, they elected to not inform Pine and Harvey of the possible danger. Three other bodies belonged to Peter Bledsoe, Christian Stanoff, and Peter Lachia. Uh, Peter Lajda, Lajda, his funeral as arrangements will be handled by Father Lidis as the man's widow has since returned to Hungary with his two orphans. Hmm. This is interesting, but... Yeah, not exactly about a ghost. Gotcha. Strange but true. Strange but true. A tale of teeth. Teeth. Oh, teeth. Strange but, th but true. A tale of teeth. Strange but true is our ongoing series about the weird and forgotten aspects of Deep Hollow County history and culture published weekly. Bad bosses figure heavily into Possum Springs history. And this morbid tale of crime and secret societies is no exception. The story goes in 1870, a local mine boss was skimming workers on their pay. A group of miners confronted him while he was in the act. He denied everything with a many a slur and punched the miner's leader. Darnell Glace in the face, causing him to lose his last remaining tooth. The miners knew how much Darnie's tooth meant to him and they descended on the boss. A few held the boss down while others removed all the teeth with pliers. The teeth were passed out to the miners and secret society was created with a vow to protect the worker's interest. Membership was based on owning one of these, these teeth and each was marked with a symbol of their choosing. These symbols were used around the cult patch to organize meetings and make out announcements. The boss survived his attack but never named his attackers for fear of implicating himself. When died a few late years later, when died a few years later, members dug up his grave to retrieve his skull. It was used in ceremonies performed before going out for retribution. All would gather around, place their teeth into the sockets, and later retrieve their tooth after the retribution was completed. Upon a member's death, their tooth would be passed to a new member. Teeth of members in jail would be left in their sockets until their fates were decided. After the strike of 1889, the society dwindled. Occasionally, a descendant of one of those few those men will find a tooth with strange markings in their home. Strange, but true. I got one of those teeth. Yo, Lycos, what's up, dude? How's it going, pal? Got some crazy, crazy spooky games, apparently. It's not super duper spooky, but it's getting spookier as we go on. Oh, wow, this is gnarly and awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. Because I have the teeth. I have the tooth. Possum Massacre. Events. Now look at that. Events. The last trolley will make its run September 4th. Bernie Goss, the longest employee with 25 years as an operator, will pick up passengers starting at the Market Street Tunnel entrance and will end at the trolley garage where light refreshments will be served and speech will be given by the Congressman Archibald Reed. And Twin Club will be meeting at the State Eggs on Wednesday night at 6 p.m. This month's crafts will be knitted hats for the soldiers along with a potluck. All mothers of twins of any age are welcome. Is good, is good. You're actually about to stream too? <gasps> Go for it, dude. We're just streaming today. Are you playing some more Lugie's Mansion? Because I am so down for popping in on that afterwards. I could totally go for some Lugies today. Possum Massacre! Or actually, I didn't look at this one. Yes, I mean, I did, but I didn't say something. No ghost to be found here. The way you say ghosts makes it sound like you don't believe me. Hmm. Possum Massacre! Severe violence broke out at the Stanford Mill... 
Stafford Mind Strike today, the bosses arrived to attempt to renew talks and were taunted by some of the children present present. Rocks were thrown and the National Guard and Strike Breakers opened fire on the crowd. After a few minutes, the smoke cleared and the gory scene revealed. Nine miners are dead, with a dungeon more injured. A young brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food to their father and uncle who was on strike below when the shooting broke out. The photograph of the two children, aged seven and nine, who were shot in cold blood has circulated far outside of our little county. The heinous act led to a personal visit from the gov governor to strike site to meet with strikers to the strike site to meet with strikers independent inspectors were also brought in talks finally began 45 days since the start of the strike the bosses have agreed to comply to the current state safety standards and to honor the demands of the miners i'm gonna stream some subnautica below zero yo nice dude are you gonna record that for your youtube as well at the same time or are you gonna do some other stuff is this more like grinding and whatnot and you'll save the good stuff for later this one no ghosts no ghost in this one. Tragedy at Sanford Mine. I did that. So far, hopes of finding more survivors is low. Did I do that? I think I probably did. Piece of exactly what was happening. New old town. Best of trends. Where is the best of trends? New old store in town center. The old pickaxe hardware store is set to have its grand opening this Saturday. We received a sneak peek of the store yesterday, and our town will benefit greatly from this new addition. Roy Burge is bringing 25 years of building experience into his new venture, and has stocked the shelves with all the nuts, bolts, and nails you would need for any project, plus the latest in tools. Stop by to see the latest trends and everything from the handsaws to hammers. Best of luck, Mr. Burge. Gotta bounce. Has an awesome, awesome, woo, awesome stream. Thanks so much, Lycos, for popping on in. I'll pop it on yours later, depending on how long you go and whenever I finish this up over here. Love you, dude. Strike. Local ghost. Oh. Oh, local ghost. Uh, I already read that one, didn't I? Oh, no, no, I already saw that one. Oh, no, 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 I didn't. Okay, local ghost, Little Joe, at it again. As the school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on any consensus survey. Little Joe, perfectly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in the mysterious circumstances some decades ago, is a favorite spook story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activities seem to involve getting up out of his coffin in the old section of town, graveyards of, of Old Spring Cemetery and rounded around unnerving, unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in Deep Hollow County. His grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local youths, and as such, Possum Springs City Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstones that fill the small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Police have also stepped up patrols in the area, so be warned, thrill seekers. You may not see a ghost, but you may see a fine for trespassing. Graveyard, that's a gimme. Yeah. I mean, if you're working, looking for ghosts and stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool. That's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. They stick around. <laughs> that's actually a pretty good point. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. And something about Samuel Coulson in the bottom. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Yeah. Now let's look at more stuff. Samuel Coulson has purchased 10 acres of land on the outskirts of Possum Springs. When we inquired as to what Mr. Coulson would use the land for, he would only remark that what was coming here would delight both young and old for years to come. We are very anxious to be delighted. Underground gases affect many. There's a couple more up here. Progress Springs. Let's see. Progress Springs in Possum Springs. Randolph Stafford, owner of the Bell's Hole Mine Works, has partnered with Samuel Coulson, owner of Coulson Coke Works, Daniel Glick, railroad ma magnate, magnate, and prominent business owner Harrison Schrygeist to make some stunning improvements throughout the town. The four men desire to build a model of progressive living right here in Mo Possum Springs. The old miners' double houses on Elm Street will be torn down and replaced with spacious single homes. A new elementary school will be opened nearby, along with a new state-of-the-art recreation center, courtesy of Arnold Applebaum. This is in addition to the improvements Randall Stafford promised the previous striking miners. And in another article, there has been another sighting of the albino groundhog from a very reliable source this time. Edgar Studer reports that he saw the pure white beast digging near Shade Gap... Shade Gap. Mr. Studer has declined to give any more of an exact location and implores his fellow hunters to admire this anomaly from afar and leave him to his business. We cannot agree more with this upstanding citizen and remind townsfolk that if you are interested in seeing an albino creature to stop by Sudi's barbershop for a peek at an albino raccoon, we're certain this will assist your mind in completing the search for the groundhog. 
And then this will be my last one that I read. Underground. Yeah, actually, I need water first. <laughs> Been speaking so much. Get my voice all tired. Underground gases afflict many. The houses on Lark Street have been evacuated after the discovery of gas buildup in the basements was found to have led to hallucinations and scattered members of the households. For the past several weeks, residents have been complaining of family members who began hearing voices or seeing things that were not there. One older woman was found having an animated discussion with an empty chair. When pressed, she calmly, um... I lost my place. When pressed, she calmly explained that she was talking to her sister, who had passed away 50 years ago. Two nights ago, the son of Carson Zimmer ran out of the house and leapt into Cooper's Pond one mile up the road. Moments before this, the child had been readying for bed, and according to another sibling, became increasingly agitated. The last words he uttered were about some sort of song before he dashed out of the house and into the night where his watery grave awaited him. This last event persuaded residents to quote, request help from officials to see if this is related to St. Leuven's Lantern, a phenomenon where exposure to certain underground gases leads certain victims to experience waking dreams, auditory hallucinations, and the sense of unseen presences. Preliminary tests indicate that gas is present in the helms, and mining officials are moving the residents until more tests can be completed. This seems pretty ghostly. No ghost here? No, oh, okay. Then I guess we're done. Fun, fun, fun. Ghosty time. So we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have, like, a license? I, I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license? No credit cards? Don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society, dear Beatrice. Okay, like, well, you know, I have a job. So I can't drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, I, I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does, it does. The same thing over and over again. So, uh, we've been in a loop since we were living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. Oh my freaking god. Like, uh, wowza. <laughs> and there's my buddy, Lycos Lore, who's about to go live on the Twitch. Oh my god. I'm gonna tune into him on my phone. By the way, my buddy Lycos Lore is an awesome individual. You should check him out on YouTube in case you're interested in more game stuff and whatnot. Very close friend of mine. I'm gonna pop into the Twitchies. Spoopy scary ocean time. And I get one chat. Here to support you, my brother. Here to support. Silly Google. Here to support you, my brother. And you will be going on in the background. Love you, granny boy! Ahem... What is... Is that Miss Quelchie? Oh, wow. I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that part of the art program at all. But she made it work. She was like some sort of, of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Oh, awesome. Do you want to stick around for this? Yes. Yes, I do. I'll sit around and watch. Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma and Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. She's from the big city, right? They don't actually pay her in string, right? They don't actually pay her in string, right? Yes, May. They literally pay her in string. I was just joking, dude. Right. Mm. Letter to the worst, to my worst student. To my worst student. The subject of my stories. I tell friends back home when they ask about life out here in the sticks. It's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know. It was you, Brian. Well, thank you, everyone. Is that legal? That is definitely that. That's not legal. Poor you. At least she's blowing her off some steam, you know? Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. 
two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time. Born in muck, raised in slime. But neither do you know paths I've trudged. So it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's that's one poem, and this one's a little bit shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frogs swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be fishermen like me. But what do you know, Amphibie? That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. It's really fast, but what the fish thing? He's totally worried. That tunnel always spooks me, you know? Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really fun, dorky short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called... There's no reception in Possum Springs. Ha 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 ha! She's, she's not wrong. Ahem. No reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy billionaire. Phone app sold made more money in one day than my family over a, a hundred generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs, became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. <laughs> Keep hiccuping, gosh darn it. Money is access, access to politicians waiting for us to die. Lead in our water, alcohol, and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams with a house and a yard, with a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Force 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck in my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement. They're on the house in the yard. Some night I will catch a bus to the West Coast. And burn their Silicon City to the ground. It was deep. Holy shit. Wow, damn. Huh. She rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers! What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks. I wrote it myself. Wait, what was the assumption that she didn't write it? Was the assumption that she didn't write it hers? Nice work, Swell Smelmer. I don't like that nickname. Or, I don't like that nickname. I switched them. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? Yes, we can. All right, now we're Poets of Possum Springs. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so... Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow! I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost? Like, filled with, like, dread and shit? I'm terrified! Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff? Yeah, Craig and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. <laughs> what were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard. I call that one. It's close and not illegal. <laughs> is there an illegal one? Hmm. Sure is. The Historical Society. You know you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway, 
I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum jump. <gasps> I know possum jump. We used to go there in scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to like actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome. And also I'm scared to death. Nice. Now we're back at home. Ghost hunters, Mysterious Tooth thought if I die, Selmers would write a poem about it. That'd be awesome. Any more other new things? Ooh, Snegu. Oh, well, I was already saw that. Anyway, what's up, Daddy-o? Daddy, Daddy, Daddy-o? Urgh. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The urg. Yuppers. So, uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, hmm? Yeah. Thought you two were getting along. We were. We are. We are. We are. We're getting along just fine. Just a bump. You two always too alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smart ass-ness. I just hate to see you two out on, on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. So we're having more money problems? What? No. We're fine. Dad. May, it's fine. It's okay. I'm 20. I can handle it, dude. Nothing to handle. Okay. But tell me more. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple of days. Yeah, I want to do that. But first step in the kitchen. Say hello to my other cats. Cat on the calendar. Got clock cat. Calendar cat. The little C on this beer can over here, which I'm... Probably doesn't stand for cat, but it very well could be, you know? Gotta go do something. Wanted to watch some more, but well, thanks for the stream. Oh, you were so welcome. Thanks for popping it on in, somebody. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or whatever time zone it is over there. Have a wonderful rest of it. Thanks for popping in again. What about this clock? I can see the clock again. I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old things up th upstairs like you, but different, huge, and spooky. Making weird noises at night, you know, doing their things. Love it. Do, 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 do. Oh, there we go. Back upstairs, I go. Back to the upstairs. Computer time. What do we got on my computer tonight? Oh, yo, I actually got. Hey, May. I guess he's actually talking to me. Hello, May. Uh, let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map and it's a pretty straight shot from up to Possum's Jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. <laughs> Tips, Fedora. Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet? It's real old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost. But old stuff that just get that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would uh, be actually pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Nice. Hey, uh, uh let me know like when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's, like, right down the road, so. You're ruining this. Oh, well, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep, so, uh, I had fun tonight. Sorry if I was, like, a little grouchy. It's just... It's fine. It's all good. Wait, did you fall asleep? Lol. What's up, Sharkle? Bye, Sharkle. Home circle. <laughs> Bedtime? Bedtime. Actually, actually, no, not... Yes, yes, it is bedtime. It is bedtime. Gonna kick up my shoes and go to sleep. And before I proceed with any dream tonight, I'm not sure there's a dream tonight or anything, but I'm gonna take a quick break, or maybe a little longer than a break. I need to grab myself a little longer than quick. I'm gonna grab myself a sandwich. I want a sandwich. Yeah, I will do... Actually, no, no. I'm going to do the dream sequence before I do my break. 
because I want to be left with wonderful, wonderful music while I'm gone. So I'll find all the musicians, and then I will take my break and make myself a wonderfully deserved sandwich. Probably going to be, um, I think we got turkey this week. Yeah, we got turkey this week. Yo, big fish. Yo, big fish. Because the fisherman is, like, afraid of the fish, right? Oh, everything's all woozy. Everything's all woozy doozy. All woozily doozily. Yo, got you. Cool. You got some nice sacks in the background. That's good. It's very good. But where are the others? Oh, there's a little ghost thing flying upwards. That was cool. What if I just jump off this way? I'm jumping. I'm okay. I'm falling. Oh, God. That's okay. I'm fine. Continue jumping into the abyss. And, and oh, I'm falling into the... Whoa, I'm in the forest. Oh. All right. I jumped really off there. I thought I was like falling into like maybe an ocean or something of the sort. So this just kind of brings me back up. I can go here. Let's see. I found you over here. Accordion dude. Do, 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 do. Lit up another lantern. That's good. Good lantern. Can I go down this way? I can. Perfect. There's probably another one down here. Ding! Yes, and it's you. So there must be one more up a little higher. What beautifully ominous music. You're sitting there, schmookin'. Big fish! Oh, you got me, buddy. You got me, big old fish, dude. You're beautiful. I love your colors. Such beautiful colors. And I'm guessing the last one's over here, right? Another lit up lamp. More stuff. Things still spooky dokey. Spooky wookie dokey time. Spooky wookie wookie dokey wookie dokey time. All right, I've got the full choir going right now. And on that note, I will take my break. I'll grab myself a sandwich. I'll come back, fill up some tea, and do a lot of other things. In the meantime, if y'all wouldn't mind enjoying these parrots, maybe giving them some parrot paps a little bit, I'm sure they'd very much appreciate it. Peace out until then. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, it's the wrong button. Here we go. Peace out until then. Bye.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Time to continue on with this dream. Continue on, continue on, down into the depths. Gonna come bring our way back up. Oh, yes. That's what we do, because dreams are scary sometimes. I've had some pretty weird dreams. I've talked about dreams already. Some of my dreams are really weird. I wish I could talk about some of them, but I don't remember most of them. I started keeping a dream journal, though. Although I'm not very consistent on actually adding things to it. It's very much added to sporadically. Two conditions have to be met. One, I have to remember what the dream was. And two, I have to remember that I have a dream journal to write the stuff in. If, I, if those two conditions aren't met, I don't wind up writing in it. And uh, the two don't happen too often on their own. So, for example, right now, I remember that I have a dream journal. I don't remember what my dream was last night, though. So if I remember them both at the same time, maybe I'd write it down. But I don't. Unfortunate. What's up, Smokey Dude? Where my uh, things go? My little shrine tower things? Nope, you're over here. Were you down here, perhaps? I thought you were up on a building somewhere, maybe. I don't remember. No, you were down here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wait, well, it was always all the way up the top. Perhaps I had to go down into the depths in order to achieve what I want to believe. But I gotta get back up on top. So I gotta go up. Up to escape this dream. I'm too far into the dream. I have to come out of it. At some point. Can I climb on top of these little pipes? I can. Very good. That was exactly what I was hoping for. I got my type ropes over here. I can make my way up. Maybe. Hopefully. Yes, exactly like that. This stream theme is almost like carnival-y. Actually, it's very carnival-y. If I, if I had to be so bold. I'd say it's extremely carnival-y. It reminds me of a carnival inside of my brain. What kind of fun, freaky madness will I encounter? I know not. Oh, I already got you, so... Is this where I started? No. I gotta go back down. I gotta go back down somewhere. Maybe if I go right till directly below me. Oh, I missed it! Oh, there it was! Oh, my goodness. If I had only been just a little bit to the left, I would have been okay. Well, time to climb my way back up again. Not frustrating at all. Not frustrating at all. I'm not frustrated. Just woefully acknowledging the fact that sometimes you fail. And if you fail sometimes, that's okay. Failing is all a part of the process. There we go. What big monster will come get me this time? Will it be a fish? Maybe. I'm inclined to believe it's going to be a fish. Hey, look. Oh, pelican. To eat the fish. Caw, caw, caw. Caw, indeed. Pretty crazy. Pretty spooky bird. As a pretty spooky bird. Spooky there in my dream. Spooky wookie. Oh? The music is still weird as I wake up. Ooh. Interesting. Spooky. I like spooky! To my recollection, this isn't like a horror game, but I'm sure it's a game that could cause anxiety from horror-induced situations. All right, what's up, everybody? Last night inspired me. For longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Nice, Greg. Away message. Planets are not to be pitied, as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. Liking that. Scratch my head. My head's getting scratchy with these party heads on my head. Is it? Oh, you know what it is? It's the string. It's the string from one of these party heads making me itchy. Itchy, itchy party heads. But I shan't remove them. Not yet. Not yet indeed. Okay. Time to make my way out of the world. I want to go to the cemetery first if I can. That'd be so cool. That'd be so freaking cool. Actually, I do want to check 
that safe one more time to see that now that I've looked, now that I know about the tooth stuff in town, maybe if I go back down, I'll acknowledge the tooth thing again, maybe. No, I just can't actually use it, so. All right. No problem then. No problem at all. Let's make my way downstairs. I wonder if mom's downstairs doing more taxes. Wait, birdie, birdie first. Let's talk to the bird. Talk to the bird. Talk to the bird. Hey, bird. Sorry I'm always rude to you. Yeah, me too. Me too, pal. Don't be rude to your local birds. They're just government surveillance drones, right? Or do they feel feelings because of that? No, they're not. What's up, mom? How's it going? Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. I don't even think I have access to the bathroom. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working. Kind of not. So that would mean... May is going into the bathroom, meaning she is probably showering. So I don't have to worry about the fact that she's not showering. Because I don't see the showering. Which makes sense. I don't need to see naked cat girl. Or naked girl cat. No. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the 10 hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. Yeah, oof. What did you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was... Weird? Interesting. Okay, I gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Bye, mom. Nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. Just want to never leave bed. I love them. Nice and gray. Sun's too bright sometimes. Need some cloudies. All right, I'm out. Bye, sweetie. Are we really out? Or can I talk to you again? No, I cannot. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I do something about this party hat real quick. The, uh, in the back, the little, uh, there we go. These be wrapped around my hair. There we go. Nice and adjusted now. Shouldn't bother my itchy scalp anymore. My scalp is not usually itchy, but when there's party hats on it. Oh, look, they've opened this area up. Ooh. So I can go back into the woods. Farming. I could farm. If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting into the farm life. Farm's gonna be fun. I always imagined being a farmer. I'd be away from my computer for too long. I like to do computer things. Farmer's life wouldn't be it for me. Am I gonna fall? Nope, there we go. Oh, I'm sitting on the railing. Nice. How nice and peaceful. All right. Bridge freezes before road. Watch out. Uh, some springs. You're not lost. You're here. <laughs> After this, a few miles and you go under the highway. And it's just rolling fields and farms. I missed the corn mazes this fall. And the haunted barn and brittle. Always next year. For campfires and corn dogs. Can I actually go this way? No, I can't. Okay. Not yet. But I'm sure this will be important later. Oh, yes. I can totally walk on the railing of the bridge. Totally not putting myself at risk for falling over. Certainly not. Certainly not. Yeah, let's go into town. Let's see what they got in town. Let's drink some caffeinated tea. I have not had caffeine this morning. And my eyes feel like they need it. My body needs the caffeine. We wants the caffeine. We needs it. Not really. I just stare at the lights on the screen. And I'm like, ugh. What's up, Selmers? Nice poem. Hey, Selmers, you were great last night. Ah, oh, thanks. Having you to bounce ideas off helped. I'm good for that. Want to hear a new poem? Yes. This is a short one. Because I'm tired. Me too, so that works out. <clears throat> I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before. I've been mad on the internet before too. It's crazy making. 
What were you doing at the library? I go to the library. No, but seriously. Crocodile. I. Crocodile eyes. What's up, big squirrels? Those squirrels and squirrels and lesser beings of animal. I'm very convinced it's a metaphor. Oh, you know, they fixed the, uh... They fixed the door up on top, so maybe I can actually enter the buildings. From the roof. I gotta try that. I gotta try that first. One, two, three, oh, bounce! Bounce onto the paradise! What's up, Apple Bounce? Oh, what's this? Oh, I can just talk to Apple Bounce. Hmm, don't think I've ever read this plaque before. Arnold A. Applebaum. A father to all workers. A grandfather to their children. A great-grandfather to those children's children. It keeps going like that for a while. Erected in 1910. Nice. What a fanciful sign. Yo, what's up, dude? You're on top of the roof. <laughs> Do I know you? Hey, little girl. I'm a legal adult. Oh, sorry. Who are you? Liz, I used to live here. Where? This building right here before you were born. Why did you move away? Went to school, wandered off, I guess. Do you like it better where you live now? It's nice. Possum Springs is nice too. I think it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, pretty all right. When I was a girl, about your, I'm 20, height, I used to lay awake at night, worried that statue would come to life and climb in my window. Oh, jeez. That's spooky. You never want someone hanging around outside your window. Not magical evil statues, at least. Yeah, nothing evil or magic should get that close. I live in the attic. No one can get to my window. That's good. Not even vampires or warlocks or skeleton men. Well, you know, um, I'm glad we had this talk. Me too. See ya. I'm gonna go in this door. Can I go in the door? Cannot go into the door. But now we've got weirdos up on top of the roof again. So I guess there'll be more people up there. Or maybe it's this one. No, it's not that door. Wonder if the squirrels ever steal undies. Well, I currently don't see any undies over here. Just socks, pants... Maybe a towel or two? Anyway, gotta go. Not hurting myself on the building or anything. No fall damage in this one, except in the very beginning. There was fall damage in the very beginning. Let's go talk to this girl about my grandfather. Fisherman! Methinks I spy a tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy crap! I didn't really see it. Please don't miss him. <laughs> you, you liar! Oh, granny lady ain't here. Unfortunate. Get her, get her, get her, get her. Who are you? Who are you? Whoa! Hi down there. Oh, hi there, mate. Oh, hi there, May. <laughs> Is that Mr. Salvi? What are you doing in a boat? In the tunnel? In the late afternoon? What are you doing home from school? I guess I kind of dropped out. Oh, dear May. Yeah, uh, sorry. Why are you apologizing to me? I, I don't know. So, so what are you even doing out here? It's my side hustle. Welcome back, dearest. Salvi Salvage. What's that? I'm a junk man, May. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh, no, I'm still doing the landscaping. But I'm also a purveyor of fine goods. For the discerning antique enthusiast. Okay, side hustle. Yeah, side hustle. You want to come along? Boat ride back into the tunnel? Gonna be a short trip today, but might be fun. Uh, sure or um, no. Uh, sure. I'm gonna go into the cave with the old man and uh, this probably isn't smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. Usually I take one in the one of the kids over there. Hey, teens! I'm going on this boat now. Just saying. Like, if anyone should ask, I got on this boat with Mr. Salvi here. Okay. Thanks. What was... Okay, let's go. You just gotta cover your bases. May's covering her bases in case she goes missing. 
We want to know. Oh my god, whoa. And lots of folks from somewhere else drive past. Between Fort Lucene and Willow Grove. And they're going to antique shops out there, out here. I think they think it's exclusive or something. And that's the side hustle. Wow. Do, do they know it's garbage? It's not garbage. Sorry. Here, we're coming up on one now. You'll see. It's so lit up. Oh, it's a little like, little true over. Interesting. This is garbage. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my priceless antique. Once it's cleaned up a bit, look around, find something. Is this safe to walk on? Oh yeah, years of head sediment, rocks, junk. <laughs> you called it junk too. You did. I found... Oh, wow! It's a thing! A sled. Really bad boat. Maybe you, like, sleep in it. Tiny garbage hammock. Should I take this garbage bed? No. Eh. I should take this axe instead. Huh. Big axe. Do I want a big garbage garbage axe? Yes. You never know me in my room. It's so big and axy. Can I take this too? Should I take this garbage bed? You know what? No, 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 We gotta keep with the axe. You never know when you might need an axe. Find anything good? Killer garbage axe. Oh, nice. Looks like an old fire axe from somewhere. Axe murderer garbage axe. Yes, you could conceivably murder somebody with this. Have to sharpen it first. Oh, I'll sharpen it. I'll sharpen it good. Planning on murdering someone? I keep my options open. Oh dear. <laughs> nice. Continuing along the well time. And somewhere he'd run over his own foot. No. With the mower. Ah! Yeah, he's got a limp now. But he still comes to work. Jeez. Gotta work. Oof. Gotta work indeed. Okay, so remember how I needed a second pair of hands? Oh yeah, what was that about? So there's a little panel back where you are. Gonna need you to use it? Move this light up there. Up here. Oh yeah, I'm already doing that. Are we? Wait, why? We get bats down here? So? I don't like bats. But bats like bugs. And bugs like light. So you're gonna shine that light. So you're gonna shine that light all around them and get them to scatter. Looking for bugs. Mostly go away for a while when they scatter. Oh, okay. Now get ready. We're coming up on a place they like to cluster together. Okay, I got it. Oh, I can go all the way around with this light. <laughs> Whoa. Got it. Here we go. Up above me. Up above you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't see the bats. Oh, oh, do I actually? I don't see bats. Oh. Oh, I saw the bat. Ooh, I saw the bats. Wow. Look at that. Did most of them leave? I think so. Sure, we're a lot of them. Sure, we're a lot of them. Ugh, I hate them. I hate those bats. But bats are cute. They are not cute. Can I take a bat home? Ain't no bat getting on my boat. Soon to swim back, then I have a goddamn bat on my boat. Okay, okay, fine. No bats. No bats. No bats. All right, we're coming up on another island. Garbage ho! As in, I am a hoe for garbage, naturally. I, I like to I like to garbage things up. You gonna look around? No, I'm gonna hang out on the boat. Of course, I'm gonna look around. <laughs> Sarcastic like your dad. You still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my meats from him once a week. Last fall, us and some of the boys from the factory days went up to Stutter's old hunting camp. You get anything? Ed Gress got a six point buck. Oh, nice. All right, let's go. We gotta keep, got a schedule to keep. Okay, talk to you. I see um, a little bump in the ground. Oh my God. It's a coconut monkey! 
Like the one Granddad brought back from Hawaii! Do I want this coconut friend? For now, yes. Welcome to the family, Mr. Monkey. I love you so much, and we've just met. But what else is over here? Oh, what is this? Holy shit! Dracula teeth! These are so red, I could totally be a Dracula! Of all the false teeth in the world, Dracula teeth are the best. Should I take these excellent Dracula teeth? Instead of my dear friend, Coconut Monkey? Bleh! No, I like Coconut Monkey. I can get new ones for like a buck. Over at the Ham Panther. I don't know if vintage Dracula teeth are that much of a find. I'm finding the real treasures here. All right, buddy. Salvi. Find anything good? Coconut Monkey. Oh, wow. Is it still good? He's a little soft. And he smells like trash water. But when he's all dried out, he's going to be a regular member of the family. Ah, all right. You're not going to steal him from your shop or anything, right? Uh, no. Not even tempted? I think I can let this one go, May. <laughs> we'll just move on to the next one. And that's how I saved Longest Night. Ha, <laughs> wow. Did you ever tell your kids... No, spoil the magic. Did they ever notice your neck scar? If they did, they never said nothing. Did the cops ever catch the guy? Oh no, he's still out there. But he ain't coming back anytime soon. Wow, great story. No bats, no bats. Any more bats, any more bats? All right, we're coming up on another bat nest. Do bats have nests? Whatever, get the light ready, shine it up there and get rid of them. Aye, aye, sir. Here they come! Where the bats at? I see the bats. I see the bats. I see the bats. I see the bats. Opened up my bats. Wow! All those bats. Did most of them leave? I think so. I got them good. Whew! Thanks, kid. I'm 20. <laughs> well, at my age, that's plenty kid enough. Rude. Coming up on another island. How many of these are down here? Oh, oh I encountered. Seem to find new ones all the time. And lose old ones. Spooky. We're pretty far back now. It's always a bit spooky. Spooky and potentially deadly. Maybe I'll die down here. No, for sure. Huh. Old trolley car over there. Yeah, we're getting close to where the flood really hit hardest. I can't imagine this place still up and running. It was quite something. Had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Way back when they got these new trolley cars. They were designed by some company overseas. Big and fancy, like France or something. They are pretty. Yeah, they still got their charms. You gonna look around? Sure. Taking a look on trolley. What's this? There's a thing there. There's a little baseball helmet there. I seem to have two options at each location. What's this one? Oh, nice! Football! Our official religion around here. I could totally wear this. It's functional! I could totally wear this in the winter in case I slip on ice. I could wear this if I was in a fight. Could probably stop a bullet even. No, no. Smells inside, though. Do I want this thing? Yes. Until I find something better. It's functional! What's this? Oh, huh. I wonder how old this is. It's pretty soggy. What sport even is this? It's a sports mystery. The worst kind of mystery. It's pretty, though. Do I want this thing? More than the very functional helmet? Nah, man. I gotta keep that helmet. It's gross, and I don't care about sports. Anymore. Alright, Mrs. Selby. Find anything good? Football helmet. Oh, you sure you want that? Did I finally find something you want? Well, I mean, it's cool. You take it. No, no, no. It's all right. It's all right. It's your boat. It's your garbage. You can have it. No, that's fine, May. No, I think you should have it. No, May. You take it. Take it. I don't want it. Neither do I. Take it. It's yours. God damn it. You take the effing helmet. No. Ah, you go straight to hell. I don't know who said that one. 
Anyway. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry I yelled. Me too. You happy with your helmet? Yeah, it's functional. We're simple around here. I like it because it's functional. It's exactly how it should be in life. He likes this. Any more uh, bats to get rid of? No, they don't come back this far to sleep. They fly around a good big back here, though. Unless you clear them off before you get here. Where even are we? Almost to the far platform. Oh, wow. Is that where we're going? Well, you got rid of most of the bats back there. So maybe we can make one last stop at the big one. The big one? I thank God I wasn't down here when the flood hit. The river jumped, right? Yeah. Flood was bad enough. River just up and moved. Had something to do with the reservoir, too, I forget. Honestly. I guess it was a while ago. Weird to think that rivers can move like that. Oh, they're always moving, kid. 20-year-old? They're just usually moving in one direction. No one's really prepared for when it stops doing what it's always been doing. Hmm. All right, here we are. The big one. I wonder if there are dead people over here. That'd be pretty cool. Dead people are pretty cool. Wow. This looks like something I dreamed. Or something. It's familiar some ways. Back then, they thought the trolleys would stay on the track. Come a big flood? But nah, they went right along with the water. Bobbing up and down, crashing into big piles like this. Jeez. Can't fix something like this. What are you gonna do? Dam up the river? Dig this whole thing out? Nobody got that money. Nobody got that time. This is like... Visiting some place beyond the grave. Like where you go when you die. Some folks did die down here. Oh, yeah. You gonna look around? Have to say, not much back this far, usually. Most stuff washes in from the side channels. Gets caught up back where we came from. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll still look around. I am curious. I, protagonist, will certainly find something. Is a horseshoe? Wonder what this used to lock up. Really old lock. Pretty neat key. Someone bought this to keep something safe. Or a secret. Do I want to take this? For now. This thing is like someone's intentions in it. Or something. It feels heavy. Someone should have ha should have it. Unless there's anything else. Like a dead body, perhaps? A tuba! Wow. I wonder if it still works. Should probably clean all the mud out of it first. Do I want to take this? Even more than the lock? Nah, I got a feeling about the luck. I got nowhere to put it. And I can't play it. Also feel like some horn-playing ghost is gonna haunt me. If I take it from here. That'd be pretty scary. You'd be walking around your house, and then all of a sudden, out of the clear blue, you'd hear from down the hallway like a... And you'd be like, what the hell was that? And then you'd be like, it's probably just the wind. It's gotta be just the wind. It couldn't possibly be a horn-playing ghost. And then you, you hear from behind you again like... And like, what the hell was that? It almost sounded like an actual horn. And then, as you're laying down to bed at night, you hear again down your hallway, and in your dreams you hear... And then you wake up screaming because you're like, Oh my god, the horn ghost has got me! Anyway, Selvi, I found stuff. That's a lock. Find anything good? Find anything good? Got a lock and key. Oh, what are you going to do with that? I don't know. I just figured someone should have it. Hmm. That's thoughtful, May. I feel like we're a thousand miles away from Possum Springs. Yeah, we're not so far, though. Let's get going. Get on going back to Possum Springs. I wonder where the next town over is. Oh, it, it's the platform. Here we are! Wow. Wow. Wowie, wowie, wowie. Uh. Dot, dot, dot. What's going on up 
Oh, it's uh, another mural. I was like, is there somebody up there? It's a mural! So that's it. That's the other mural. Huh. It's so... Yeah. Yeah. Basically, the only thing back here that survived the flood. I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgotten, maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. I wonder if in like 500 years, some archaeologist will find it and wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years, no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and then fall apart. Ear twitch. Are you okay, May? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just going to look for a minute. Take your time. What a pretty mural. Very cool. How very somber. What a sobering experience. That was awesome. I found a bunch of junk. Thanks, dude. Thanks for joining me. That was great. I could totally do this as a job. Oh, no. A competitor. I'm going to get me a boat and go find some trash and sell it to rich dorks. That's the spirit. Take care. You too. Good luck. That was wonderful. Pasasasa. Nuke pasasasa. Pasasa loss of loss in springs. Pasasa loss of loss in the springs. Ring, 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 spring, ring, ring. Y'all know about the game? Hey, you never told me why you were feeling down the other day. Do I gotta tell you everything? No, no, no. Just ask it is all. Oh, I ask someone else. Man, y'all don't seem very happy. Uh, la 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 la. I'm gonna try to go on top of the roof again. I love going on top of the roof. Okay, drugs and malt. Like cocaine. That's a drug. One of many. Oh, do I? I can. Uh... If I got a statue, I'd have them make me real tall. Because I'm currently not tall. I and May are both not tall. I'm not tall at all. Hey, you. What's up? What's in the news? Yam shortage this Thanksgiving. Oh, jeez. We need yams. Better get them now before they're gone. There's going to be, like, yam riots. Because not enough yams. Worst reasons. I suppose. Oh, I couldn't. Oh, no. I want to get to the top of there. Oh, maybe I can climb up this way. Climb? Climb? No. Oh. I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna go back over to this little rocket stand thing, because I want to go up. I want to see if I can get it on the top of the roof. I thought I was able to get up there before, but I don't exactly remember. That's close, but no cigar. Nope, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it, Captain. I can't get on top of the roof. Unfortunate. Maybe if I go on top of this roof. Nope, I really can't. Electrical box. Boop. 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 Oh, what's going on? Hey, you, pal. What's up? Who are you? Do I know you? No. Okay. Aren't you uh, Greg's cousin? You really look like his cousin. Not his cool cousin, Jen, like the other cousin. Now. Who are you then? Why are you here? Trying to find your city council. Town council? We're, we're a town. Right. Why are you looking for them? Supposed to be demo in an infrastructure and municipal services management program. What? Helps you manage things like snow plows and broken hydrants and stuff. Oh yeah, we have those sometimes. I just figured it'd be helpful. I don't know. Lots of places are just scared of new things. Just want to keep things like they are forever. Falling apart. It's frustrating. You were really into this stuff, huh? I mean, it's my job, so... I had a job. I bagged groceries. Could you program something to make that job not suck? Well, soon it's going to be robots anyway, so... Jeez, yeah, huh? 
Anyway. I got it. You're Donna's cousin. Yeah. She used to babysit me. Oh, wow. You are you the kid that killed a bird with a mace? It was an accident, and I was like nine. So. <laughs> I thought it was perfume or something. I thought the bird would like it. Well, you were nine. It died, like, instantly. Just... Ah. Dead. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Good luck. Try not to kill anything. No promises. I promise I will... I promise that I am up to no good. So how did that arm get here? Someone just running down the street? Whoops, my arm fell off. I'll just come back for that later. No one could survive their arm just falling off. Or being chopped off. Like, not by a doctor. Is it still called an assault if you chop an arm off? Seems like it should be a different word. Arm choppy. Yeah. You're under arrest for arm choppy. Whoever's arm that was is probably dead. No, no, no. Definitely dead. Unless I see someone walking around who until recently had an arm. Hmm. Guess I'll be unknown. Click, clack, diner. Click, clack, diner. Can't go this way. Gonna go this way. It's the food donkey. I wonder if I can get a better view of things. Jerem, what's up, buddy? Hey! Hey. What? Wanna hang out? I got plans later. Okay, well, I, I don't think you're gonna get kidnapped or anything. Yeah, sure. How about my bike? Really? Where is it? Tied up behind the food donkey. I guess you can, like, run behind. Okay, fine. <laughs> nice. What a guy. You sure your bike's gonna be safe? Yeah, I don't think anyone's been in that shed for years. Sorry you fell off. It's cool, I feel so alive. Scrapes are cool like that. Skin my elbow. I hit my head pretty hard. Did you hurt your brain? Nah, I got a thick skull. That's cool. I like you, germ. Oh, we took a ride across town. Nice. So, uh, what are we doing here? Do you trust me? Sure, pal. Really? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Bye! Oh my god, Germ! Oh, jeez, dude! Hey! What the hell, man? Jump, it's fine! Oh, for real? Well, I mean, if Germ's okay. How do I... I want to jump, right? Oh, there we go. Oof, I'm alright. Jeez. Dude, you scared me to death! Why? You jump off big stuff all the time! Yeah, but like, that's in town. Nice flat ground. Not like I just go jumping off cliffs and whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot you grew up in town. So what are we doing here? I come here a lot. I wanted to show you something. You hang out in a sewer, babe? Are you showing me a sewer? Are you showing me a sewer? I thought you'd be interested. I saw like 10 rats down here once. Alright, that's pretty cool. Gotta admit, I do like me some rats. Alright, well, uh... Off we go! Some math on the walls. Okay, so... I started coming down here a few months ago. To, like, just hang? Okay. And I noticed. A big rat. Oh, hey! Ra oh, hey, rabies. Ah, jeez. Oh. Rabies is my sewer friend. Its name is rabies? His name is rabies? His name is rabies? I found it when they pulled that body out of here. After that big flood a few months ago? Oh, neat. He's, he was sad and wet and hungry. And so I brought him chips and ice cream. Sounds right. And I wanted the other possums to not pick on him. So I named him after something they're all afraid of. This is the best story ever. He's so rad. Hey, rabies. 
Speak. It's the sound that they make, apparently. Oh my god. He's gonna whole rule his whole ravine someday. You be nice to me, okay, rabies? I love him. There he goes. There he goes. You got any pets? Not really. You should get one. My dad has a bird. That's a garbage pet. You're a bird. Tell me about it. So there's like weird stuff on the walls in here. Ancient cave paintings. Not new, at least. What do you think it means? If you sleep here, you might drown. Rabies is trash king. Rabies is trash king. It's a prophecy. Written by ancient hobos. There's like all kinds of secret places around this town. I'm like the only person to really map the... Hey, rabies, what you got there? Oh my god! Is that a fiasco bar? You want me to unwrap that for you, guy? Holy effing crap! He is the best! You should take him home. No way, he'd pee all over everything. And dig a hole in the wall, and probably live there. Oh yeah! Rabies is wild! Let him be wild! Oh, it looks like he's eating it! So cute! Oh, so cute. See ya! I'm so happy I hung out with Germ. Falling down the thing together. So, uh, if I keep going this way, is there something else for me to find? Ooh. How did he get over this thing? I can't jump that. No way he could have. There's no hole. How did he do it? Because he's a ghost! Nah, I can't even jump that. Not even with my triple jump. I just can't do it. Okay, time to go back down. And, uh, you know, I want to go to the- I want to go to the graveyard. Let's talk to Beatrice. Oh, I make sounds when I jump. Every so often I kept hearing that hurt, hurt sound, and I was like, I don't- I do not know where this is coming from. I thought maybe it was a part of the music. No, no. It is my character. It is May. It is just May. It's always May. It's only May. It's only every May. Gregory! Actually, no, let's go with Greg. Let's do some illegal activities. I like illegal activities. What's up, Greg? What's up, kid? How's it snacking, Falcon? Just kicking it. Drank too much chocolate milk. And I was throwing up. <laughs> when the light bulb delivery came, I had to sign for it while puking. <laughs> Jeez, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I just flew too close to the sun. The chocolate milk... The chocolate milky sun. So what's up? Just saying hello? You up for smashing some light bulbs? D I want to smash... No, no, no. I am not a criminal. I'm not a criminal. So we're going to go check out the historical society. Also illegally. Rock on, dude! Let's do it. The historical society. Historical society. It's a society of historical things. Sorry we crashed. Stretch my body there. Sorry, we crashed. It's okay. I'm getting used to it. Is your bike okay? Yeah, I can fix it. I'm handy. It's too bad you didn't get run over. It's too bad you didn't crash into a train. It's too bad your corpse didn't get eaten by scavengers. It's too bad you didn't get eaten by scavengers alive. <laughs> so that's it, huh? Yep. Never been out here before. Me either. Oh, um... I thought you had a plan. Who needs a plan? We're just breaking into an old house. Crimes. Yep. Looks kind of... Um, exactly like a haunted house. Yeah. Like the one in that old movie. Like the one on the cover of that book. Haunting of Arbor Street. We have an Arbor Street. Yeah, book spooked me pretty good as a kid. Big evil house. This place looks exactly like it. Well, you're looking for a ghost, right? Yeah. Well, whoever this is, maybe we should give get some info here. It's not like a person, dude. It's a ghost. Uh... Right, 
well, let's go find us a ghost. Ghost in the manor. Ghost in the manor. Greg. Hey, where are you? Over here. It's spooky dark. I'm not even in the building yet, and it's already like pitch black darkness. I'm gonna fall down some rocks. Nope, not falling down some rocks. What's up, Greg? Oh yeah! Found the basement doors. What? Stop yelling! Why are you talking like that? If you they the instead of if if harder for someone, for example, a ghost. To hear that you're speaking. I have no idea what you're saying here. Okay, we're gonna try to be stealthy, right? Oh, I get, I get what you're saying. Thank you. S thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Okay. We're fine. Nobody's here. No lights on. Doors are locked. So how are we doing this? You're gonna hold the flashlight. Well, I picked this lock. You can pick locks? I totally forgot. Yeah, dude. This is kind of awesome. It sure is. Crimes, dude. Crimes, dude. Hey, you want to shine that light down here? Cool, thanks. Oh my god, what was that? Don't worry about it. Nothing. Uh-huh. Hey, more light, please. I hear spooky woos. Oh, I definitely heard a creak in the woods. Just gonna ignore it. For now. What the fuck? Okay, there's something up there. I told you. All right, let's finish this. Also, watch my back. Basically, do both. I don't see anything up there, like, really. I don't, I don't think I have to... I don't know. Hey, you up there! Holy shit, it's an owl. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Owl? Are you okay? I think so. That was dangerous. I didn't know owls attacked like that. What was his Evan deal? I don't know. So we're in the basement. What are we actually looking for, by the way? The thing I read said that sometimes when someone stays late, they hear weird things in something called the map room. And in some off-limits area, Technically, all of this is off-limits area right now. True, dude. True. You're so right about that. So let's get him. Oh, there's a big red light. Dude, is that like two elevators? And not like old ones. Locked, too. Jeez, maybe this place is all elevators. Weird, why would they have two? One for the ghosts, one for the normies. Obviously... Private rooftop ghost party! With a big ghost pool. I hope you get squished by the elevator. I hope your head gets stuck in the door and gets chopped off. I hope you fall down an elevator shaft. I hope you get trapped in a dark elevator filled with water and an angry shark. Holy crap, dude, that's like... Ugh. It's dark, dude. Real, real dark. Okay. Here we go. Up into the historical society. Looks pretty empty. And dark. Hey, where's the flashlight? Crap. I left it outside. Dude. You were being attacked by an owl. All right, well, I can see, okay? Me too. Let's look around. Maybe because y'all got dark vision. Walking through the spooky historical society, what would I find? Spooky dookie ghosts, 
Mm, closed for insurance purposes. The staircase. Hilarious. <laughs> Caution. Stairs not for climbing. These stairs are original to the house and are not functional at this time. What the hell are non-functioning stairs? So we're just supposed to, like, levitate? Huh. I'm levitating. I'm levitating, so I'm heavily medicated. Do a leap with the baby. Elevator number three. Looks like it's not locked either. Elevators for miles, dude. Yeah, this is weird. Yeah, why wouldn't you lock the elevators at night? Seems pretty weird. I did it! Now I'm upstairs. Are you gonna go? Uh, are you gonna go? Why do I have to go first? It's your ghost! Okay, fine. It's not even real! What? Dude, er... the hell was that? I don't know. Is someone here? No! Lights off! Doors locked! No cars outside! Okay, so... You wanna go back? Do you have your knife? No. Do you have your knife? Of course you do. Yeah! Okay. Wait. Is the assumption that I'm... Is the assumption that I'm gonna stab someone? Is that the plan now? No, I mean... Like, just in case. I mean... The basement door locked behind us. All right, crap. Gonna have to find another way out too. Hold on, l let me add that to the list. Map room, forbidden zone. Find a way out. This is complicated. Crimes. Crimes. Crimes indeed, my fine feathered friends. Fine furred friends. Fine furred friends. Fine furred friends. This feels pretty mappy. No, I see newspaper articles. What do we got? Oh, hey. Possum Massacre. Oh, nice. You remember this, right? Not super well. Yeah, there was this big explosion at one of the old mines. And it could have been avoided or something. And then the miners went on strike. Because they were getting screwed and killed. And, like, it went on for a while. And other mines and places joined up. Like, to be like... You've messed with all of us. That's awesome. Yeah, the bosses and the governor, they sent in the soldiers and stuff because they were assholes. And some kid or something threw a rock at one of them and the soldiers just like opened fire. Holy crap. Where all this happen? Northwest end of town. There's like a marker for it. Ugh, that's awful. Bosses are bad. Bosses are bad. Weird how, like, we're all supposed to look up to, like, bosses. Just in general. Like, even bad ones. Yeah, I refuse. Extremely ditto. I'm not gonna look up to those bosses. Okay, so not this room. This one's not the forbidden hidden zone, a way out, or the map room. Okay, well, nothing weird here. Educational, even. I feel like we're getting smarter. My brain is too huge as it is, dude. Gonna pop. If that happens, I'm leaving your headless corpse here. <laughs> I'll be so freaked out in the morning. Nice. Oh, Ronald, I'm gonna open this room for the day. Ah! I say this chap's brain appears to have burst. Bring the mop, won't you, Ronald? Hilarious. And that's how it happened. That's how it definitely happened. Other elevator. Holy crap, is that elevator number four? How? Why? Granddad would be complaining about local tax dollars right now. Oh, I definitely heard that. Ah! <laughs> that is not cool. Maybe it's like someone left a phone here and that's a... Uh, probably that. Probably. Probably. Crimes. 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 Going up, going down. 
Let's see if going down is a thing. I was already on the below level. Does that take me? <gasps> the study. Whoa. Alrighty then. This place is extremely ominous, even for my standards. Huh. It's an office. This is boring. Anything interesting here? Office supplies? There's a calendar. Looks like covered bridges. The one over there has got famous disasters. That's the cool person's desk. Desk. The other person is boring. I wonder if they're friends. I mean, you can work with someone and not be friends. Hmm, yeah. Maybe this room isn't so boring after all. No, it definitely is. And then sounds happen, right? Should I go farther down? Oh, I can only go up from here, so. Kind of stinks that your office would be on the... I mean, it's on the first floor. I guess that's not a problem, right? Not a problem. My office isn't technically on the first floor. Mine's on the second. Another elevator. You're kidding me! Elevator number five. Huh. Locked. I think this is as high as we're going without picking some locks, so... Ah, crap. You're kidding me. Drop the lock, pick stuff out back. You're kidding me! I was being attacked by an owl! This is true. Okay. Sorry. Can you, like, improvise? I need some pliers. And you got a paperclip? Uh, no. Who walking around Earth today is carrying a paperclip? Nobody. So, like, okay. So, I got this, just so I got this straight this time. Shoot. Map room. Forbidden zone. Find a way out. Find pliers. Find paperclip. I think that's it. This is so stupid. This is like work. This is all work. And crimes. Did you hear that? Yeah. Didn't sound like a person. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Okay, well, let's hurry. Office supplies downstairs, probably in the office supply room. Pretty boring down there, unless you need paper clips. Going down to get some paper clips. And for all I know, there might actually be some pliers down here, too. Other people go on weird ghost hunting adventures, and they're looking for, like, cool shit. Okay, well. Yeah, let's find a paperclip. Wow, there are a lot of different options. Well, I guess I'll start from the back. Gum! Note cards! Phone charger? Pins? Found one! Well, that's the easy part, I guess. Yeah, pliers are gonna be a bit more tricky to find. Hmm. Well, let's head back up. Maybe they'll be in the upstairs maintenance hall. That's one thing done off the checklist, though. Found pliers. Wouldn't be over there. Back uppity up, I guess. Unless there'd be... There wouldn't be pliers in that one map room. Or it wasn't the map room. Um, The education room. It is pretty spooky. What's in this door? Oh, this feels pretty mappy. Oh, hey, it's my neighborhood. And the highway. No hand panther, though. Must be old. Oh, wait. We're in the map room. Well, let's be extra careful. Okay. Crimes. Crimes. Love crimes. There's the graveyard. And the building we're in right now. Spooky. Like we're being watched. Hey, it's my neighborhood. Wow, there's a tiny human there, I bet. Whoa, that's... Sorry, that, like, made me dizzy. I'm dangerous. Yes, you are, Greg. Good old towny sentry. Town center. The center of our town. Quite... Ah, I think that's the old food donkey. And the woods your ghost guy ran into. Yep. He sure gets around for a dead gets around for a dead guy. That he does. Anything? 
This is the map, all right. Oh, look, there goes the chain. Choo-choo. Oh, okay, it got dark. And now the place there is red. Did a door open up? That creepy noise again. In this room. Oh, yo. Pliers. That's pretty cool. And totally not spooky. What the... F Whoa. Oh, it's alive! Jeez, that thing's ugly. Well, this was the source of the noise, I guess. Mystery solved. Wait. No! If it was making that noise, then that means... That someone was in here. While we were walking around. Shit. Yeah, let's maybe go. No, no, no. We have to find stuff. Oh, stuff. Uh, dude, we're going to get tasered or something. By a big bulk in the... Historical Society employee. Whatever. I'm blaming you if this goes bad. Fine. Fine. Crimes? I'm sorry, dude. Me too. I'd never turn you in. Me either. Crimes? Crimes. Pliers. Hey, check it out. Toolbox. Repair guy must have left for the night halfway through fixing him. And hey, some pliers. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I was thinking we'd never find them and just, like, starve in here. There'll be people here in the morning, though. All oh, right. All right, so we got the stuff. Let's get that elevator open and see what's upstairs. I'm gonna guess it's, like, 12 more elevators. Oh, for sure. Can I bounce up here? I'm gonna bounce up on top of there. Nah. No bouncing, bouncing this time. Do, do, do. Moving through the haunted historical society. I'm like a little spooked, but like not super spooked. It can be get much spookier. All right, we ready to go? Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna like... Break out of county jail someday. With these skills. Dude, what are you going to jail for? Probably something like this, honestly. Oh yeah, for sure. They are adults after all. Uh, dude. You need to hurry. What? Someone's coming. They're in the hallway downstairs. Crap! Okay, I'll have it done in... The elevator's gonna up. Oh, God. Uh, dude. The elevator. Shit! Shit! Hurry! There, I got it! Let's go inside. Go! It's a lot of elevators. Too many elevators. Oh, we're back down to the basement. Holy shit, are we in the basement? Oh, okay. Oh, hey. That's where that elevator goes. This elevator. Yeah, so... This doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe, like, this elevator is for loading things for the map room? And, like, they use the other one to avoid the stairs. But even then... Dude, none of this makes sense! Ooh. It doesn't look like whatever that is is following us down here. Whatever, not whoever. Whoever. Are you coming around on this ghost thing? Ghosts don't use elevators. Why? So a ghost can walk upstairs or something? But elevators are out of question? So, the question I have is... Where does that one go? Okay. Crimes? Crimes... Okie dokie, crimes it is. Okay, just gotta pick this. In the dark. Jeez, sorry. It's cool, I... Elevator. Shit! I wanna keep picking! You see if we can get out to the back. Where's the back? Stuck! We are so screwed! I'm working, I'm working! Okay, gotta, gotta run to the other way and... Um... 
Maybe go up this way? All right, nope. That ain't that didn't happen. Gotta look at this one then. It's locked. Something locked it. Someone. We can go back upstairs. Actually, no. We're just gonna get chased around in a circle. But by whatever it is, whoever it is, dude. And got it. We don't know where this is gonna go. Got any better ideas, dude? Clearly, I don't. Alrighty then. Well, it looks like we're going up, so maybe we'll get to the roof. Secret forbidden room? Maybe. They have an elevator that goes from the basement to the attic. With no stops in between. What the actual crap? Quick, let's find a way out! Well, you go that way. Oh, hello, Greg? I found a window! I think there's a fire escape. Window doesn't open, though. I'm gonna have to break it. What about over here? I see a ladder at... Ooh. I just heard a door. Whoa. Oh, my God. What is this place? Forbidden Zone. Are they starting, like, a weird, mu weird art museum? This is bad art. This is weird. It's art, dude. What the? No, this is familiar. How do I know this? I hear the elevators. Shit, dude! The elevator! Why do I know this painting? I don't know. What is it? It kind of looks like a like an antelope or something. I don't know. Dude, come on! No, I'm too I'm too engrossed in the painting. Oh, we broke the window. The elevator's coming back up! But painting. Spooky forbidden zone. Hurry! Alright, I'm I'm going. Can I just jump off? Apparently can't jump off, so. There we go, there we go, there we go. Down the fire escape. And then jump off, right? Or they'll be right there waiting. Maybe a cop car out front? Maybe it's Aunt Molly. Gonna take me in. What the? Whoa! I saw that. That was pretty spooky. Greg! Where did you go? The steps just ended. You gotta jump. Alright, I'm jumping. Smack. Ow! Am I okay? You believe me now? I believe we almost got caught by some by a security guard or something. No, I'm telling you, I can like I can feel it. Okay, fine. Ghost. Ghost security guard. Sorry about all sorry about all this. You crashed your bike, got mauled by an owl, broke through a window. And jumped off a fire escape. Nah, dude. It wasn't nothing. You're a really good friend, Greg. Psh. Crimes. Crimes. Crimes, 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 crimes. Write it in a notebook. Bad art. No clues. Chased by ghosts. Greg rules. Okay. Okay. It's like a unicorn thing. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, we're in. Weird night. Weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez. I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Okay. Go to bed, you. Will do. But first, gotta check on my cat clock. Cat clock? Cat calendar? Cat photos? Cat dad? Cat upstairs? Cat downstairs? Cat house? Alright. Clock. 
Bird? Bird? Books? No. Klaku? Oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Was there something like this in the end that crawl space by chance? Like the picture of the thing? I don't remember there being any like paintings or anything down here, so I don't think so. No, it's just cans. Cans of stuff enough, 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 and more, etc. Greg, etc. I'm gonna start using that. Anytime I say etc., I'm gonna go Greg, etc. I'm gonna go with that. I like that. I like that too much to let that pass in my life. And then somebody down the longs will be like, "Why do you say Greg, etc.?" They'll be like, "Ah, you wouldn't understand." Yo, look, I've got all my stuff. Coconut monkey, the football helmet, the um. Let's see, I got the lock and the key, and what else did I pick up? The battle axe. Yeah, dude. Go on a computer tonight. Let's go on a computer. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. How are your shins? Oh, they're fine. I jump off second story fire escapes all the time. No, actually, they hurt like balls. So anyway, did you find out what you were looking for? I think he found us. Dude, we found lots of stuff. The map thing, the scary robot, the weird bad art in the attic, the crazy amount of elevators, and the ghost. The janitor that was working on that historical robot guy? Gregor. Listen, I know janitors exist, so that means there's like a zillion percent more chance there was a janitor and then not a ghost. I felt it, dude. I'm asking Angus if that could happen. He's not answering. All right, I'm gonna get some sleep. Thanks for going with me tonight. Crimes, dude. Crimes. Love crimes. Hey, B, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and, like, eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Went to the Historical Society. Oh, how was it? Eh, we definitely were chased around by a ghost. Really? Hold on, I'm texting Greg to confirm this. Why do you need to confirm it? Don't you trust me? Sorry, like, I need a second opinion. <laughs> Greg says it was, like, probably a janitor or something. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to bed. Don't go to sleep angry. You'll have bad dreams. Thanks. Good night, May. Sharko, how you doing, pal? Not just an operating system, your very best friend. That's Sharko. Do I have any new songs about the spookiness? I could play some bass. But which song? Nah. Space Dragon? Die anywhere else? Cycles? Weird Autumn? TikTok? Pumpkin Head Guy? I don't remember which one TikTok was. Oh, yes, TikTok. That terrible charity parody song about telling, telling time. Punched up the lyrics a bit with Greg back in high school. Let's see if I can remember all the words. This one looks called TikTok, and it's about charity parody. Whoops. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Oh, that was the wrong button. Oh, jeez. Whoopsie. I never seem to have any comments about what I'm doing except when I mess up. Seems pretty like a nice and happy song.
Oh dear! Where'd that clock come? That clock really freaked me out. Tick tock. Tick 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 tock. At least I didn't mess up the end. That wasn't too bad. Charity Barity. Freaky old pink... I guess it was a pink bear. I literally do not know this song. But I played it anyway, because why not? Bedtime? Yes, feels like bedtime. Feels like bedtime. Zoom. Goes the people, the denizens of Philadelphia tonight. Da 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 ba 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 da 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 ba. It was cool. I like that TikTok song. It's very dark in my dreams tonight, but everything is slowly coming together. I can see my silhouette, silhouette. I can see my silhouette. Okay, am I actually walking? Oh, I could be walking. I really can't see though. I guess I'll- Oh, I'm coming into focus. There we go. Now I'm all lit up. I'm out of the darkness and into the light. Now I can see the beautiful face that is May Borowski running around in the dreamscape. If I keep running in one direction, I'll find something. I, I suppose. I would assume so, but I'm not so sure. I'm really not so sure. I see tree branches. I see an eclipse. It looks beautiful out there. It's beautiful looking. The night, the evening, so misty, so mysterious. And I'm all about mystique. Mystique is appear. Hey, that's kind of creepy looking. Hey, you. Hello? Uh... Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are, are you God? No. Oh. Well. Um, so. Seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me. And I am not this God. And this God is nowhere. Well, you can't see God. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith. And moments ago is the beginning. And I am here then. And here now. And there is nowhere for God to be hiding. Freaking weirdo. So, so what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean like, what am I doing here? Here. What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? They were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town? It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands, and they are climbing into the air, and now they are making a tear, and now they are gone. Is this Selma? Is Selma making some poetry for me? And now you are here. A, a tear? With 
their hooves. They are making a tear. A tear from which the almighty Dakota walks through and graces our presence. Hello, Dakota. They are little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Whoa, here we go! Blind and ter- What the literal- Okay, that looks like a parasite. Tick, they're ticks. They're ticks. They're totally ticks. That's pretty spooky. Alright. Ah! Oh god, oh god, oh god. They are blind. But they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? Why close the sky? I'm tired of speaking with little creatures. I'm tired of speaking as God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything. And it is always growing between the stars. I am seeing it. It is coming. And you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now there is only the whole. So... Does anything really mean anything? It's a cat god thing. This is not a question worth answering. But my home, my friends, the trees in the fall, the leaves, but most importantly, my family and friends. Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. Not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Well, alrighty then. Maybe I saw God? Maybe I did not see it, the God? Perhaps I saw something that cannot be described in mere words. That was pretty weird. But you know what? I'm into it. Ooh, there we go. And we wake up from this weird ass dream. Gee whiz, it goes. Achievement unlocked. Echoes. All right. <laughs> Loving that stuff. There is no time to play bass. No time to play bass. Let's start up my computer and tell my friends about my weird-ass hallucinatory nightmare, probably. Angus? Away message. Planets are not to be pitied. Oh, I already knew about that. I read that the other day. Hey, dude. At the old snack Snalkin. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Morning. Uh, at the pickaxe, if you're in town center today. I, I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day, so anyway, I'll see you later. Sharkle? Ho 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 ho, Sharkle. Milla Sharkle. The operating system. Sharkle OS, for all your Sharkly needs. Picture. Bird? Got anything to say for yourself, bird? Bird. I kind of get you now. All like trapped and shit. I should let you out. Nah, not gonna do it. Not over there. Any more comments about the clock? 
the clock, the clock, the clock. Nope, going downstairs. Hello, mother. Hello, Mooty. Hello, Mooty. We get the scene in. Honey, you okay? Ugh. Mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No! Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. Besides, how do you think you got here? And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. Are you dissing your daughter? You were a miracle, baby. You didn't plan for her, did you? That's me. A miracle. After all the miscarriage... Oh, okay. After all the miscarriages, we've given up hope. And then there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant... I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. Okay, fine. Fine. Just want you to know, you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about literally anything else? Sure. How about school? You know, if you did have a baby... Okay. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry. I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. I love you too. Babies, though. If it was a boy, you could name him Calvin. Oh, God, Mom. If it was a girl, you could name her... Trash Baby? Cordelia. Why don't I just have a baby and hand it to you? Ooh. Okay, bye. I'm leaving. Or am I? Yes, I'm leaving. Goodbye, Mom. That was weird. I like to think about baby names. I love babies one day. I'm a little... I'm a bit older than... Uh, a little older than May is right now, but I'll have babies one day. I'm gonna have so many babies! No, not so many babies. Only a couple of babies. Maybe, uh... I don't know. I forgot their names all of a sudden. Oh. And now, you live, you rise, like the undead. And today, on the June 2nd of the world, year 2021, Dakota has risen! So it is spoken, so it shall be. Hey, May. You alright? Yeah, I guess why. You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. <laughs> yeah, I did. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Yes, I love your poems. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay! Chazikov's up there again. You ever, uh, drop... He, you ever, like, drop that telescope? Oh, no, he cries his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He's hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in... this. Selmers. Eh. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Yeah, karaoke's good. Now I'm gonna go stargazing. I'm gonna go up to the top and get some stars. What's up, dude? You know what? Tell me. What about being on your porch? Bad weather coming soon. Feel like it in my bones. Your bones are old and rickety. Bounce. I see you up there, Mr. Sir. Dude, man, spitting fire. Absolute licks of fire. I'm talking straight up flames. The great conflagration is upon us, and it's coming from our mouths. Specifically, Selma's. Oh, man. Oops, that was a mistake. Can I, like, just jump from here? I wish I... I thought I could jump from there. Can I jump on top of this windowsill? I can. That makes it much easier. Hello, sir. May! Mr. Chazikov! You look a bit worse for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? 
Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars? You know it, dude. Come have a look. I like to look at the stars. Arg, I'm blind. Don't forget the filter. We've been through this, May. Remember. This is your own fault at this point, I would say. I remember what accent I gave this guy. I gave this guy an accent. My biggest problem with voice acting games, or like narration games like this, is that I tend to forget how I voice some characters. But I, if I remember, I go back into it. Okay, there's a... Ooh, a star! Not that star. This star? How about this star? Oh yeah, that's rumbling. I think I got one. Let us see. Cole's a mountaineer. Cole? Knew a guy named Cole once. That's close. It is. So what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flat land. This Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was was from was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of the mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because he, his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up. Yeah? Not really? Yeah. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff. Hey, that's why I went to school in the city. And there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same thing. But I've not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible. To those who have seen it every day of their lives. So what happened to Cole? He had returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds, and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. 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 I like that. This game gives me all kind of good feelings. Oh, I feel stars! Oh, I feel stars! Stars? Oh yeah, you're the one. Another star in the sky. Gotcha. Oh, which one is this? It's a crocodile with a with a lantern. Adina Astra. <gasps> you know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what become of her. Yeah. How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth, where her stars were no longer over her head, and now she was never seen again. Yeah. Whatever. Is that not a sad ending? Yeah, I mean, she probably died. No, disap- Well, I mean, disappearing isn't the same thing as dying. She probably went somewhere else completely, like another dimension, and all did all kinds of cool shit, and just never came back to tell anybody about it. Oh my. Yes, yeah, so. Whatever. Oof. That's all for today. That was nice. It was very nice. I love looking at the stars. I learned so many new things. Pretty sweet. Well, stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Starbook. Cole and Adina. Adina, Adina, Adina. Adina, Adina, Adina. Lovely, lovely. What's up, Apple Bone? You're not Alpha Bomb. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Anything on top of this roof? I can't get inside the roof. Can I get inside in this roof? No! So I'll fall. And now I die. Now I die. Hello, old man. I'm gonna see if that old lady is down here to tell me more about my grandfather. I'm curious. I need to know about my grandfather. Pretzels? Pretzels. Pretzels, pretzels. Pretzels, I'm in pretzels. What's up, kiddos? What's up, kitties? Kiddo, kiddo, kiddos? So, like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like, the buddy system. Safety in numbers. You're not paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone around here missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Okay, well, I think we need a bit more than that. Okay. 
Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Some place called Molde. <gasps> Molde? You know someone from Molde? Yeah. Do you know where Molde is? Do you know what Molde is? No. I heard about Molde. My dad drives a bread truck. Molde used to be one of his stops. What happened? You don't stop there no more. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Molde? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine. We'll just drive through. I need to go get back in the sun now. I, I, I don't know what Molde is. I wish somebody would enlighten me if it's what Mulvey is actually, because I, I do I do not know. I don't I don't know really. I really don't know about what Mulvey is in. Huh. Swoop in for a snack falcon. So I did that. Oh, you know what? No, I'm gonna go talk to. Oh, first I want to talk to these sports guys, but then I want to talk to Beam. We can go to the cemetery. So I says to her, Mabel, get off the dang table. <laughs> and she goes, Why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true, we both danced on the table, nearly broke the damn thing. Yeah. Somehow I can't I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really didn't. Alright then, sports guys are annoying. Oh, can I go in here? I can go in here? I knew I could go in here. Um. So I can take my... I can take the stairs up to the roof. Oh, it's just an easy way to get up. Nice. And then I can talk to you easily. How's the news today? What's in the news? Coyote wandered into a snack falcon out past Brittle. Just like, walked in? Yep, sat in the sandwich cooler. Did it eat a sandwich? According to this, ki according to this, the coyote just stared at the cashier. That's pretty spooky. Coyote's a spooky animal. Yes, I would, I would agree so. So that's just a way to get on top of the building, I guess. Is there anything else I can get from up there? I mean, Maybe somewhere else instead of here. I can't use the elevator. So no, yes. Or yes, no. Yes. No. Yes, no. Senores. Anyway, that's how I get up here. Easily. I know I've been up here before, but... Oh no! I've fallen. I cannot get up. And there was something to look at up there. All right, I'm going back up. Back up to the top of the roof. Gonna find something on the top of the roof. What will I find on the top of the roof? I'm not sure. But I know there's something up there. Oh, you know what I could do? Oh, I could just do this instead. Hold on a second. One, two, three. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, pal. Hey there, buddy. Oh, because you're a mountain goat. So you're up on the tallest mountain, right? That's probably it. Can I touch this? I cannot touch that. Hello. Whoa, what are you doing up here? Uh, um, what are you doing up here? I live here. On the roof. No, in town. Noted. You're gonna fall and kill yourself. Noted. I'm like trying to see the town from above. Oh, okay. I'm gonna draw a map of town center. Don't they have maps? Like, they make them with satellites. From space? Eh, I like making them. They're delight- they're delightful. I like maps. Everything's so tiny. Right? There's a big honking map of town at the Historical Society. Oh, I've never been. Yeah, watch out for the ghost and the weird painting. Just like, don't go at night. Don't go in the attic either. You'll regret it. Noted. Okay, well, be careful. I'm up here because I'm a professional. I have the shoes for it. Okay, thanks. If I see you on the news with a broken spine, just don't say I didn't warn you. I probably won't be saying anything. All right. D good point, if you broken spine and... Have fun! Bye, sir. What a friendly folk. I'm gonna go this way and see what I can find on the other side of town. What is this? Oh, just more things. I can go inside? I can go inside. Oh. Hella birds. Hella birds. You're playing jazz? Oh my god, there are a bunch of birds down here. What's up, birds? Holy shit, that's a lot of birds. I don't want to stray them all away. 
Um, hello? Hello. I'm May. Sadie. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Exploring? I mean, do I need a reason? New? Nope. Did you know? This is the only stage in town. You want stage a lot? It's not true. That's not true, actually. I'm on the other stage. Yeah. We do band practice on there. We just did a play at the hardware store. And we used the counter as a stage. Okay, this is the only stage in town that's only a stage. Looks like no one's played here in a long time. Yeah, been a few decades. Are you gonna, like, put on something here? Oh, I don't think anyone's gonna be putting anything on here. At least not anytime soon. No electricity. Probably structurally unsound. Infested with rats and pigeons. Other than that, electricity, that's like most of the town. <laughs> that it is, that it is. Jazz music. What happens if I throw away all the birds? <gasps> A pentagram! Huh! Pentagram! Nice. Well, I guess I can't say anything else to you, so, uh... Have fun, fun like, playing the saxophone. If I knew how to play the saxophone, I'm sure I'd have a fun time, too. Not necessarily one of the instruments that I've always wanted to learn how to play. I always wanted to learn how to play the trumpet, right? So I learned how to play the trumpet. I always wanted to learn how to play the piano, so I took some piano classes. I still... I've always wanted to play the violin, so I bought a violin. Which then was promptly broken. That's okay. What the hell is a malt? If I keep bouncing on this, can I break it? Can I cause death and destruction from down below? No, I guess not. Alright, time to go talk to my friend at the old pickaxe. Social Security Administration! Video Outpost 2! I'm gonna stop by and say hello to Angus! What's up, Angus? Hey, May? Hey, dude! Totally, what's up? Nothing. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Don't mind me. Alright. Love you too, man. Just working your thing. Just doing your work works. Working out is good. And I didn't say hello to... Uh, I didn't say hello to Greg either. So I should say hello to Greg. Stop on by. Say hello. Gotta stop on by to say hello to your friends every once in a while. Sup, duder? Hey. How you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. <laughs> Saw some space bugs. I met God. Jeez. And they were kind of an asshole. Huh. Yep, that's how my week is going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushy? To replace the idea of a caring God? I can throw in some chips. <laughs> I'm good. So what's up? Just checking in. Nah, just checking in. Just checking in, bro. Yo, what's going on, Synergy? Welcome back to the party. You have checked in officially. I check the... Now you're checked in, too. We're all checked in. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check, 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 check in. Check in, check in, check in, check in, Let's see. Being that I met God last night, apparently, I should probably go to the church before I go talk to Beatrice. Because I feel like if anybody's gonna know about this... God then perhaps it'll probably be the priest. I should tell them about things. This is the perfect thing to talk to the priest about. Oh, he's a tower. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. They'll, we'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address, always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. So not you yet, not Beatrice yet. Can't go in here. Can't go into the Telezoft. Can't talk to you, sir, with the big old glasses. Can't go into Fat Pocket Pond or into this building, but I can go up here and go to the church. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll go to the church, okay? Mm -hmm. I say there's something godly up here at the church, something that'll keep me down grounded in this society. I might also, also go say hello to my mother, and it's always good to say hello to your mother when you have the chance. I, had, I think I called my mother, was it this morning? No, no, yesterday. I talked to my mother yesterday. Or was it this morning? I don't remember. Oh, town council meeting. Because there will be children here. 
And this is a historic church. That's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region. You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space. We have the people who need space. We have resources and we have poverty. And not in some far off place or some big city. Right here. Right across the streets. Katie, it's our number one job right now. To bring businesses into town. Businesses mean jobs. And jobs means people. We have to do what we can. To get the attention of the market. And having a half dead church stacked full of bums. Well... Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. And I'm here too! I'm May and I'm 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 here. I listened. I listened to things like this. Pastor, I have something I need to tell you about. I think I met God. Oh, stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. Sounds serious. I guess. So, like, things have been rough lately. I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God. Hear me out. I know what you're gonna say. What? Yeah, yeah I knew you'd probably get that reaction. But it was in my dream. But I don't think it was a dream. Oh, wow. That happens, right? I'm not crazy. Right? Or like... It, like, it happened? Sure. Can you tell me about it? I was in this desert. I was in this... Like, the shore? I was kind of... I was in the desert, right? I'm in the desert. As far as I could see, where, like, all that was left of the world was bits of wood and sand. I was wandering through it, but I was, like, drawn to something? And I came up over this. What do you call it? Hill made of sand? I came up over this this dune? I'd call it a dune. A dune? Yeah, a dune! And there was God. And I saw God. Just sitting there, up on another hill. And, uh... Or dune, or whatever, you know. Just hanging out? Yeah. Just seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. Lots of things, actually. They, like, didn't care. They were kind of a jerk, to be honest. I mean, more a straight-up asshole than anything else. If I had to be perfectly honest here. So sorry, can I say that in church? Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> I think the structure can handle the shock. They went on and on about how annoyed they were, that people kept coming to them with questions, and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, that, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God, it's just a thing, and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about how nothing matters, or this giant hole. There's a big old hole there, I say. There's a big hole in the center of everything. Growing. I was grabbing something behind my... Grabbing one of my phones from behind my desktop. Growing. Sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? Yes? No? No, I got my friends. I feel feel great. I feel great! No, I mean, I've got friends. How's that charge? Oh well. Oop. I've been with them every day since I got home. But, hmm, there's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years. Since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. I guess. I don't think I believe in God anymore. I guess? I don't think I believe in God anymore. 
If you want the truth, I think everyone doesn't believe in God. For at least a few minutes a day. Hmm. Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a God? Like, literally someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. But there are times when I don't. But you, but you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's my job. It's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe yourself? Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believe that week. But who would that help? But you're a pastor. And you can't tell me whether or not God is up there. Whether anyone is watching. Anyone who gives a shit. No, but... Then what is the point of you? I have to go. Okay. Man, what a talk. Priest lady was the right person to talk to. Maybe May can start thinking about life in general and the things that make her happy. Like perhaps faith in ghosts. Hi, Mom. How you doing? Hey, hon. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about oh, helps like a lot. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hon. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on Sunday. It's full then. I bet it is. Sorry you have to work because we have money problems. It's partially my fault too. May, I've always had a job. This is just another one. I feel that. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See you, mommers. See you, daughters. Ah, uh, daughters! Cause dot daughter? Daughters? <laughs> nice. I just got that. That sound I like that. I should call my daughter one day dot then daughters. Fodder. But I'd be I'd be fodder, I guess, but that's fodder, like like fodder in the ground, like. Actually, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Don't know how I feel about that. Then again. I'm sure I'll be okay with whatever my children might wind up calling me one day, so long as it's not asshole. I don't know if I'd like that. Unless I deserve it. In which case, I totally had that coming. But uh, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Not seven-ish years. Yo, what's up, Bruce? What's up? Nothing. Cool. Yep. Seriously, that's it? That's all you got for me? Bruce, come on, my guy. I came on all the way for you. Maybe I'll just hang him by the cliff. Cliffy. Anyway, that cliff was great. Time to head back to the regular town. Do, 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 do. Bye, Bruce. Peace out, buddy. Peace out, my brother. Time to talk to Beatrice and see what else I can do with my day. The goal is to find the ghosties. We have to find the ghosties. And uh, we found some ghosty things. Ghosty things. At the Historical Society. So now, we're going to see if we can find them at the graveyard. It'll be perfect. It'll be perfect. I'll be there. And Beatrice will be there. And then y'all will be there. It'll be a great time. We'll party at the cemetery. We'll be dancing on people's graves. It'll be great. I They probably don't mind. I mean, do they really have mind? What exists after death? Is your mind left behind? Oh, I don't know. Find out one day, I guess. Yo, what's up, B? I'm on your counters. Hey, B. Hey. You all right? You seem down. No, it's nothing. Stuff. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. 
Whew. What are you up to today? Want around town? Whatever you want to do. Proximity, as in being within proximity of something else. And that's good. And I like that. So what kind of party is this? Um... Uh... Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. Yeah, she's intense. She's intense. She's serious about serious stuff? Like, she's a lot of fun otherwise? Didn't Jackie have, like, a one-woman band? Yeah. Uh, Trans World Order, give them hell. Tugath. Yeah, it's actually really great. Like, really good. She's got a got a great screen. I'm sold. So we see him in the band? Tugath. Hey B, say it. Say Tugath. 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 Anyway. This is a party. Uh, and Jackie invited me. Look at you. Mr. Miss Popular Girl. All going to secret parties and shit. They're not secret, May. Like, at all. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay. I invite you, and, like, now you're invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got, like, a 90-minute drive ahead, so... Jesus, better be some party. Jackie parties are worth a trip. Like, totally. Totally worth a trip. You drive 90 minutes just for something, like, awesome. Where are we, anyway? Like, I don't know what town I'm in. I think I went here once. In Girl Scouts. To see some sort of longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh, yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. What even was that play? Corvin the Thief? Old, kind of obscure. Slick little barn cat. Lived in the woods. Where no one could find him. Then he stole a diamond or something. From the local king. And got arrowed to death. Oh, yeah, right! Yup. There's a whole second part. Where he's a ghost. Uh, but they never performed that one? Poor ghost cat. Alright, let's go. Papa Tease. Kind of nervous about this. Stay close, alright? Nothing to be scared of down there. Just a party. Hmm. Not too late to throw ourselves in the traffic instead. <laughs> hey, Jackie! Jackie? Yo, what's up, Jackie? Jackie the Jackalope? Hey, B! Oh, weird, it's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May. Yeah, is uh, that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in, it's a good one. Is it like dancing and stuff? The world's ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool, cool. Okay. Pizza subs and beers and Papa Tees. Everybody's on their phones or smoking, because that's what the cool kids do. Apparently. Yo, this reminds me of frat parties. Except not at my frat. Because we didn't have these really awesome... I mean, the lights were pretty cool. The lights were pretty cool. But it was never this lit up cool. And also there was never a... Fo we always talked about a fog machine. But we never got a fog machine. <sighs> Sucks. Other parties though. Pretty foggy. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. <laughs> right. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. You hear me? You think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. Can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists! <laughs> hey! Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So, uh, where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for the both of us. I got time. Hold up. We're gonna go yell at the DG real quick. We know him. He's a total dink. Okay. I'll be here. Bye, boys. DJ's that way? 
Oh, beyond the other side of the stairs. They seem nice. This is very cool. We're having a really good guy. Good, good time. Uh, no drinking, May. Okay, fine. Yo, you guys want to dance? Yeah, I do. Can you dance, May? Can like anyone here dance? True story. You're at a party and you feel like you can't be dancing? Just go dance, dude. Don't worry about what other people are thinking of you. That was something I suffered with. I was like, I don't want to go dance. I just want to stand in the corner. But I really do want to dance. But I don't want other people to see me dancing so terribly. You know what? I dance great because I dance. You dance great because you dance. You don't gra dance great if you don't do other things. If you don't go wind up dancing, nothing happens. Look at this. Look at this awesome dancing. Just bouncing up and down. With my hands in the air, just wiggling around. That's dancing in this game, by the way. It's just a bunch of waves. This is going like this. Just do that little butt thing and whatnot. And plus, like, I've experienced too, like, if you, uh, if you dance at a party, somebody might come up with you and be like, yo, I'm going to dance with you because, like, you're so awesome because you're actually dancing and I'm standing in the corner. Anyway. Hey, I think those guys are back there. Ooh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I never knew. I'm going to keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away. Within eye shot. And I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B. I know. No, seriously. If any. B. I'll be fine. I'm totally getting drunk at this party. Let's go! She'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. There they go. I'm just gonna dance around. I'm gonna keep doing my dancing dance! Yes! It's dancing dance time! Do, 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 do the butt dance. Do the butt? Do the butt dance? Which one's the butt dance? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Make him twerk it, girl! She can. She can. I can't twerk it, girl. I, that's not really twerky, to be perfectly honest. That's just kind of butt shaking. It's just kind of butt shaking. But we butt shaking together. We butt shake together on this party of gold journey. And one day there'll be a dance party option. I'm working on it. I've workshopped it. Dancing is easy. What's the big fuss? Dancey dance, 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 dance. I'm gonna walk this way. I'm gonna go make bad decisions. Yo, dude. Hey, you're cool. Hey, you're also cool. But which cool should I talk to? I like you. I haven't seen a creature like you before. Psst. Hey there. The wise kitten focuses not on that which is lost, but in all that remains, you know? Okay, wow. You just hanging out in the back of the party here. Did you know wisdom? All right, well, I will certainly keep that in mind. Have a good one. What about you, dude? Hey, you. Hey, you. Do I know you? Not at all. So what's your name? I'm not giving my real name. I'm Samantha Stevenson. Samantha. I like it. Sounds like a magic spell. You found me out. It was magic. Now you're good and hexed. Wow. So what's your story, Samantha Stevenson? My grad student studying uh, vampires, and I play bass. I'm a college dropout. Ghost is chasing me, and I recently met God. I've had these dreams that I'm not sure were dreams. Where I was running around, jumbled bits of, like, history or something. Like, it was all a hairball stuck in the shower drain. And yeah, there's a ghost. And I'm pretty sure it, like, kidnapped someone on Halloween. Pretty sure I didn't imagine that. And my friends don't completely buy it. And I had this thing going on in my head. And I dropped out of college, and I didn't even want to get into that. And all I wanted to do was come home and for things to be normal. And that's not really working out. And I found out tonight I can dance, and then I saw you. I've never just listed all that out at once before. Well, I stole your last story. <laughs> I guess. Hey, give me your hand. Oh, uh, all right. You go, we're gonna touch hands. We're gonna touch hands. We're gonna just touch hands. Dude, touch hands. Yes. We're holding hands now. 
Upside down pentagram. <laughs> Got some sin going on here. Oh, wow. Secret handshake. Wow. <laughs> wow. It worked. Wow. Okay. Okay. I should go find my friend. Let, let her know I'm over here. Oh, yeah, you should. Samantha. <laughs> Hexed again. Boom. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow. Okay. Be right back. <laughs> I met a boy. I met a person. I don't know if it's a boy or not, but I'm just saying, I'm like, pretty cool. What's up, y'all? Hey, B. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Nah, she's okay. <laughs> You're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice. It's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. <laughs> well, a book you liked? I liked ghost stories. I used to be a big reader. I liked ghost stories. My granddad died and left me an apple crate full. <laughs> Sorry about your granddad. It's okay. It was years ago. B's mom is dead too. <laughs> May, May, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring when my house exploded because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line trying to dig up the dog we had before that because we were going to move. And dad said he had to come with us. This is awkward. Wow. So, Chris, what are you majoring in? Poli sci. Oh, that's cool. Are there uh, a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. Like, I feel like I have to be pretty materialistic. Like, you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after, you know? Like, that's interesting because... <laughs> whoa, whoa. Check out rich kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. BB, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I, uh, interned at my uncle's farm, yes? Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. <laughs> May, do you want to dance some more, maybe? Sure. Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna ruin your friendships and hang around here. You shouldn't be embarrassed to be around me. You sure you don't want to go dance? Yeah, my uh, parents own their own business, so... Ooh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Want to go uh, across the street, grab some pizza? I could eat. And it's a small business. You'll speak their language. Get us free slices. He doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. He knows all about business. Hey, Cody, let me tell you about Beatrice Centello. I don't know about that. No, no, no. B knows all about business. I'll talk her up. This is my this is my friend B. Wing girl. B knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. Ha <laughs> May, no. What even is Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. While rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever. Bees out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? <laughs> I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. B and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah, got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh, why would you do that? Hey, Rick, be from, be here, drove in from Deep Hollow. Hmm. Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> you're faking it, B. Run. B, wait. Oh, dear. I guess, well, cat's out of the bag there. 
Yeah, what was that about? I uh, think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. I should run after my friend. Or maybe I should go back to the other guy. Nah, I should definitely go after, run after my friend. Aw, she came to a college party. Like, they don't go here. Why would... Aw, but she's embarrassed about it. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, jeez. All right, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down toward the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay, oh God. Okay, okay. Well, apparently I messed it up. Back in school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know that I was right. I think you're the asshole, dude. You didn't fill in B. You didn't fill in May about what's going on here. How do you expect her to not, what, not mess things up when she didn't know what was going on? Where are you, B? The roofs. You can just get to the river quick on the roofs. Hey, move! What? Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here. It is Pizza Place parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm going to run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Want to find out, citizen? I'm going to call the cops. If you don't move right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car. And I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt physically, I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? What are you going to do? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. Yeah, I'll break your spine. Jump into the top of this car. I'll keep on fighting, dude. It's for my friend. You gotta do shit like this for your friends. Let's see. Can I get to the river from here? On top of the trees. Some trash cans? Something in a dark alley? Apple Nabber... Apple Nabber Cider Co. It sounds delicious. Apple Nabber Cider Co. I hope I can find B. Oh my god. Apparently, I mean... I think B's overreacting here a little bit to run out of the party and whatnot, but understandably, she was probably, like, really, really embarrassed about it. But you can't really blame May for this, because how could she have known? Like, how would she have known, you know? You gotta tell a girl something like that. You gotta let people know what's going on. If you're, if everybody's supposed to be, like, in on something, then everybody should be in on it. Not, like... I don't know, you know? I feel like I can't be held responsible for this. For sure. I don't think this is May's fault. Okay. I'm on top of here. I'll go down. Down, down to the river. Oh, shit. I fell. Hey, I found you. B, there you are. You all right? Why'd you run? That's, like, extremely dangerous. You are alone in some college town. You didn't even know what... This was my party? These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal for like two hours a month. This is normal? Could have been... This is normal? Yeah, what do you mean? This is a bunch of dorks in a basement. College is stupid anyway. I've been there. Oh my god, you're a complete asshole. You will never understand this? Ever? You know what I did? When I when I when do I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> this is so freaking sad. I think like obsessively about going to college. Like really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already is like my wildest fantasy. You have a life. That is so sad. 
I think you're right to want to go to college, but May doesn't feel the same way. You have a life. No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended, too. I had to take over the business because Dad had a complete breakdown. And the bills from my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment as my dad wastes away. And like any idea I had of a future, this big, bright thing just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight. And you can't get that through your thick effing skull. It's not fair. Well, I had no idea about all of this. How? how? How could you not know this? I work hard. And I take care of what's left of my family. And my life is slipping away. And I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store. In that stupid town. I'm just... Ugh. Doomed. I'm doomed. You're not the only person stuck here. You know? You gave up the thing I can't have. I... Kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that a little. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh. Right. So... Why'd you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up! All this shit going down the past week. Ghosts and shit. I met God! He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ugh. Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. Better be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry. About, like... It's okay. We're like... The best available friends. <laughs> oh, God. What river is this? Red Winder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks in the land get to keep their colors. And the river rocks are always looking up at them. So, like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't, like, stuck together in the same town? Like, we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like, uh, is this just... What's the word? Proximity? Yeah! Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something. Like... That keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Stuck in a basement together. Again. This crazy old basement. We call life, Beatrice. Thanks. That's uplifting. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come another... Go to no, another one sometime. <laughs> I'll learn to talk good to whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with. Oh, good. Thanks. B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I am like more embarrassing than you will ever be. 
You are like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as, like, as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm just a jerk sometimes. I know that. But you're genuinely good? A good person? I'll take it. You know what the Fort Lucene fish fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santanello! We should get burgers and shakes on the way home! Oh well. <laughs> A revolution from God? The good God! The fake one! Aw, oh, friends. Crap! I didn't get her info! Who? The super cute girl I met at the party? We did a secret handshake? Is that a euphemism? Crap! Yeah! We need to come back! Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again. Home again. Going back way to home again. Achievement unlocked. Best available friend. Mayday. BB. Stuck together. Don't suck together. Oh, I like that. And then bombshell. Look at you. Nice. What's up, Dad? Ignore what I just did in the front door. Hi. Hello. Oh, wow. Are you okay? No. So I'm going to sit on the couch and talk to you about it. Okay. So, uh, what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're going to have to start talking sometime, kidding. I wish I could. Why can't you? Where to even start? I just... It's just... I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. And I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where is it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight. But like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And that's not even counting the money problems. Yeah. Money problems make everything worse. I know it. And I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I can hold down a job. And how am I even going to survive? And, 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 shh, kitten, take a breath. Okay. 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 Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Oh, oh! Father-daughter bonding time with Garbo and Malloy. Malloy, Garbo. Everything about you know the afterlife. I don't have a life as it is. Ha <laughs> Why, Garbo? Do you think do you think there's something up there? Someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope if anyone's watching at this time slot. I just hope anybody's watching at this time slot. Ha 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 ha, because it's late at night and you're a comedy show. And uh, you're joking about the fact that your comedy show isn't good. These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. It's been a long time. Hee hee ho ho. You were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. Yeah, could, Malloy. But it would be a whopper ah it thinks it's funny it's not it's not funny it's not funny at all your jokes are trash you're trash y'all are trash coming up next garbo and i contact the dead i don't know about that i don't know about that nope not into it anyway good night father i'm gonna go upstairs and reflect upon my meaningless life
and uh, probably end things after there, because I gotta head to- I mentioned earlier that it's my youngest brother's birthday today, and I'm gonna go visit him. I'm gonna go home and visit my youngest brother, because I love my family! So I'm gonna go upstairs and do a sleep, and then after getting to the dream tonight, I'll be done for today. What a lovely day! This is the first long session I've had in a little while since the work stuff and whatnot, so I'm happy with it. Very, very happy with it. Who's got messages? Hey, kid! Went to a party, danced at a party, ran around in the rain, met a hot girl, totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, it sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. All right, I'm off to bed. Laters! Hey, you. Hey, me. I'm so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out on you. You know? That's like really... That's like really nice, May. That you did that. Aw, oh, it wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll be rid of me. You'll never be rid of me. Ever. I can think of worse fates. No. Sharkle. Sharkle boy. Time to meet God again. Maybe. Bedtime? Yes. Let's see if I do... I don't know what kind of dreams we're going to have tonight. Might be spooky. Who knows, really? I'm unsure. Ooh, I heard spooky noise. Ooh. There was no dream. That's at least lovely. Well, cool then. Awesome. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed that. And I will start up again with Night in the Woods probably some other time. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming along to this wonderful journey we call life. Coming along for uh, and sitting through me and attempting to do voices as well as I possibly can. I have a lot of fun with this. I like playing my games. I like narration and all that stuff. It's awesome. I really, really do enjoy stuff like this. I used to be at a time where I didn't get to use my voice very much, aside for like raising my hand in classes and asking questions and stuff. I miss my theater days. This reminds me of those theater days. So I thank you all for coming along with me on this journey. Thank you all very much. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of the evening, or the day, or the afternoon, the dawn, the twilight, other times of the day that don't fit here. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock rock, whatever time it may be over there, I hope you have a lovely rest of it. Uh, I'm gonna raid my buddy Glenifer right now, my buddy Lycos, because he's still going with some Subnautica right now. What a guy, playing some Subnautica below zero, and I love to spread the love to people who I feel totally deserve it. Thanks again, everybody. I very much appreciate your company. And I hope everyone is very happy with, with whatever the rest of their day has in store for them. And if not, well, try again tomorrow. Bye to the Raiders. So long to the Raiders and to everybody else. Love y'all. I'm out for now. Bye ya!